What is up, my friends? Good evening, good evening. Yes, enough of the Tom Jones, what's new, pussycat. That was our intro music. If you're watching on YouTube, you missed that one. Sorry about that. And um, we're in for a little night stream tonight. Usually I'm on during the day, but um, last few days has been pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. And uh, um, we're going to pop on for a little night stream tonight. With a deck that I wanted to try last stream and didn't get to, unfortunately. Standard Cats. Uh, M19 Standard is here. And we're doing it, and uh, we're going to try it out. want to mention also that I'll be on tomorrow. We have noticed a lot of streamers right now doing a, a Magic Arena, like, crazy 24-hour, cool, wacky, awesome thing. I'm doing that too tomorrow. I have uh, 20 beta keys to give out. 20 tomorrow. So tomorrow's stream, we'll, we'll be giving those out. For now, we're just playing a little standard. This is what I wanted to do uh, earlier in the week, and I uh, didn't get to it, unfortunately. So, um, bam, cats. Some cards here you may be familiar with, some cards you may not. Um, obviously, we've seen cards like Regal Caracal in Standard before. Uh, pretty popular card as a sideboard card against mono red decks. We've seen a Dorn Pouncer here and there in like the Auras deck. Sacred Cat here and there in like God Pharaoh's gift decks and stuff. Um, otherwise, though, a lot of like weird ones here. Uh, Pride Sovereign, like unbeatable limited rare. Doesn't really see much play in standard. Johnny's Pride Mate, you may have seen in modern in the Soul Sisters decks. This is actually one of the primary win conditions for the deck. Uh, a 2 2 that gets very, very big, very, very fast. Is a cat. And um, nice way to kind of scale as the game goes on. A lot of new cards in this from M19. We have uh, most importantly, and perhaps the most important card in the deck. Uh, in my opinion, is the new Hero of Bladehold. This card's pretty good. It's gone a little under the radar because it is quite soft to both Glorybringer and Chandra, uh, Torture Defiance, but Leon and Warleader is a 4 4 for 4 cat. And whenever it attacks, you make two 1 1 life linking attacking tokens. And that's pretty damn good. Um, really, really powerful card. Has to live, of course. And in a world of Rask of Contempt and Ravenous Jupacabra and Chandra and Glorybringer, you know, may or may not live, but we have we have tools. We have tools. Um, we also get the new Leonin Vanguard. This card's not great. It's a little fillery. Um, if you have three more creatures on your turn in combat, it becomes a 2-2 and you gain a life. So upside is nice. Downside is a 1-1 one, one for 1, which is not very good. Especially in a world of Goblin Chain Whirler. But we have answers to that. We have... Uh, card I turned to in the Goblin deck I played that was pretty bad uh, recently. Radiant Destiny. Kind of an under uh, underutilized card in Standard. It's a 3 mana Glorious Anthem for a creature type of your choice. And then when you have City's Blessing, they all get Vigilance, which is actually pretty huge. Um, especially for some cards in our deck in particular. Um, most notably Pride Sovereign, which has a tap ability that also exerts. So, allows you to attack with it, and then use it, which is kind of nice. Uh, Pride Sovereign is kind of like a, a reverse lord. It gets bigger for all the other cats you control. And also makes co tokens. Um, again, very busted card in Limited. If you ever played this card in Limited, it was very, very good. And um, we're also playing the new Ajani Adversary of Tyrants. This card seems fine. I'm actually not too big on this card. Um, makes some of your guys bigger. It's good with the Doran Pouncer. Um, it can return Ajani's Pride Mate to the battlefield. It's definitely a different versatile threat, but I don't know. I'm not super big on this one. Um, only two kill spells in the deck in Thopter Arrest. Um, just the most efficient kill, kill spell there is for white decks. Could be Exelon's Binding. Not sure. This is based off um, Longville 65S or Longville 65's list. Um, he had 5 0 or she had 5 0 a. Uh, a league on Magic Online. The list was slightly different. I changed it a bit because the list, there's some things I really didn't like about it. Um, but mostly their list. Cyborg's pretty different. Um, the Heart of the Consoles is great, obviously. Very good with Pride Mate. It's honestly possible this card could be main deck in this deck because of how good it is a Pride Mate. Maybe not, though. Uh, South of the Wreckage, of course. Ixalan's Binding. Uh, there were Thrashing Brontodons in the sideboard. We can't cast that card. Uh, not enough green sources. They're playing Naturalize. Prowling Serp Pod is hard to cast. We do have the four unclaimed hammer territory, which I added, uh, mostly as a concession to casting this card in post sideboard games. Um, 
MZ Soccer. First time of the stream, MZ, what's your name, where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time, favorite deck of all time, most important, what's your name, where are you from? Puppy name, please. Everyone show some love for our new ch our new sub, MZ Soccer. We also have Gideon of Trials, and we have a Johnny Unyielding as Planeswalkers and Messiah Board for the more grindy matchups. Is that good? I have no idea. I think this card is very good, though. And I want to be totally honest, the Goblin deck I played on stream a few days ago was pretty bad. Um, however, Radiant Destiny plus Siege Gang Commander was really, really good. So I'm imagining that Radiant Destiny plus Rico Croc will, will be just as good, as well as War Leader. It's also very nice that Destiny pushes the War Leader out of Chandra and Glorybringer range, which is pretty sweet. So let's just, just battle and see what happens. I'm Malik, what's up my friend? Nicole is uh, putting John to bed. John's John's stomach is having some problems lately. He's not feeling too good. So Nicole's dealing with him and she'll be in a little bit later. Let's rock. Cat time. If you're hyped for cats, oh my god. Or Busta. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stream's over. I don't have any tickets. I wasted them all playing terrible decks this week. Trying out different... <laughs> different stuff and uh yeah a lot of different a lot of different probably bad stuff give me one second here to convert all these packs and chests into into tickets so take a short one minute break here on the stream and um get these tickets for you your topic of discussion is simply are cats viable and standard broader question is any tribal deck viable and standard i've been pretty pissed off that there aren't enough tools for tribal decks Every tribal deck feels like a card or two short. Kind of makes me annoyed. Um, Got to be my article topic this week, too. So that's your topic of discussion. One minute break. Get the tickets. Be right back, my friends. See you guys in two minutes. Burnsy, take it away. Catch, Burnsy. Catch. All right, sorry about that, my friends. Now we're good to go. I apologize for the short delay. Fortunately, like I said, life is crazy, and we're going to be doing things off the cuff. Basically all the time. What's chat saying? Tribal decks are dead. Zombies, it's kind of there. It's kind of. Million Little says, tribal decks have always been missing one or two cards. It really feels like that. You know, it's it's frustrating because, you know, all the mid-range decks got Scarab God and Planeswalkers and, oh, there's a good card, put it in your deck. But they don't support the tribal decks, you know? Like, they don't gotta be great. They gotta be playing them. Uh, your question, C2, what's your question? I'm sorry I missed it again, my friend. Just, just po keep posting it. C2, you can at me in chat. At. And that makes it red on my screen. So I will see your question for sure. I'm sorry I missed stuff, guys. I know we have a lot of viewers, and I miss stuff sometimes. All right, our new sub is MZ Soccer. Uh, Matt from Indiana, playing since Oath. Favorite deck is Reservoir Storm. Played it in Oath of Kaladesh Standard. Favorite card is Dead Bridge Chant. Karn would be a great puppy name. Sweet. All right, Radiant Destiny. Dorn Pouncer. This is a... Kind of sketchy one, but we're going to keep. 
Oh, C2. That was actually a very good question, too. I'm, I'm sorry. I saw that. I didn't get a chance to uh, respond to it. C2 says, I mentioned that Stirrings and Opal are on the watch list in my Wizard Sly video. Do I believe an actual wizard like banning watch list should be publicized to prevent loss of money from people unsure of buying into a deck? That's a real slippery, uh, tight line to walk, slippery slope. That's, that's tough. That's really tough. Any list like that would co probably cause more trouble than good, honestly. Um, the idea of it is interesting, but... Ooh, lob, poll time. What's up, G Lobmancer? Poll time. How many matches is, is this cat deck going to win? Zero, one, two, three, four, or five? Cast your votes in chat. How many matches will this deck win? Zero, one, two, three, four, or five? Five round league. All right. Drover the Mighty, Sacred Cat. Kind of annoying, actually, because I would like to get... I guess we're going to go Pride Mate Radiant Destiny. I mean, Pouncer Radiant Destiny. The Pride Mate's not going to do anything yet, so. A lot of threes and fours? Wow. Y'all got faith. Y'all got faith. Ronus. Unbanning Stoneforge, Mystic, and Modern, I am for it. I am in favor. Okay, Pride Sovereign is weird because if we play Pride Sovereign and they just kill it, um, it's kind of a tilt. But if we play it and then we get to play Destiny and activate it next turn, that's pretty insane. Um... I guess also if they if we play Pride Sovereign and they kill it, they probably can't attack with Ronus, which is nice. Yeah, we're gonna play the Pride Sovereign. We'll name Cat. And uh Ronus ain't attacking, so we're cool to attack here. So next turn we get to go Destiny Activate. And then we can go Destiny. Pride mate. All right, there's the abrade. So that's fine because now Ronus can't attack. We bought some time. It's fine. I guess I guess we could have tried to get it out of burn range. Thopter arrest. That's interesting. All right, this is fine. Cat. Always named cat. I like, guess it's not an insignificant attack here for four. And then possibly six next turn. So we draw a land, we can go Destiny Pride Mate, attack, get a counter on Pride Mate. We have Thopter Rush for their first big creature, which is nice. Turn off Ronus. Okay, thankfully, Carnage Tyrant, like we're if they want to play a battle of the board, I think that our Radiant Destiny and Pride Mate and Friends will make that in our favor. So we're not too worried about that. All right, so we have City's Busting. So our guys have Vigilance. Um, that's not really super relevant, but this Pouncer is pretty good right now. Three, 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 three double strike on Vigilance, and then we flash it back. I guess it's actually a zombie, right? No, it's a zombie cat. Flashback, so that's good. Same with this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we have pretty good blocks here and Thopter Arrest. Maybe we should be more, more careful with this card. I'm not sure. Maybe I undervalued this card a little bit. I was fine making it bait. Maybe it was actually the prize. It's fair. But yeah, I think Stoneboard Mystic is a, is a fine unban in, uh, in Modern. I mean, dinosaurs are big, but they uh, ain't really no match for cats, it looks like. All right, so we're going to take this. We're probably going to Thopter Arrest this Ronus, because that card's actually going to cause us problems. Never mind, we're going to cast Pride Sovereign. Stunt Lock. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Pride Sovereign's going to be big. I kind of want to just attack with the Sacred Cat, gain three life, and then pump my Pride Mate. 
and then just embalm it just to like buffer our life total a little bit because this is kind of a lot of stuff in play um, we're not going to Thopter arrest this Ronus, so we could take a good amount of damage this turn like I think we have to cast Pride Sovereign because the upside is so high yeah we're going to do that we're going to attack with uh, Sacred Cat <laughs> Stun log, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm curious what uh what arena can actually handle as far as like ridiculous token decks, you know. Basically just gain three life, put a counter on Johnny's Pride Mate. Pride Sovereign's pretty big. Uh oh. Oh god. Here we go. Here we go. Burnsy's Burnsy's running away because he knows who's here. No, Burnsy's running away because you're playing a bunch Kill of Kill Pop, no. No, no, no. Don't ban... Oh, my God. Why does Galta always get us? We're not banning any cards in Standard. Standard's fine. Who it's not we, ideal, but... Are we banning? We're banning you. You're banned from the stream. We walk in, I walk in, we We're going to ban Galta. I'm sick of Galta. Why does everyone have to Galta me all the time? It's just so big. So... Why didn't you doctor arrest it? Because they just cast it. It's haste because of this thing. It's right. unfair, so I tell you. Why didn't you doctor arrest the thing? I mean, you could block it with, like, multiple things. I believe we blocked it with, like, Pouncer, Pride Mage, and Cat. That's 11. Well, it says double strike. Am I counting right? Yeah. Sure. We, we would lose many, many things. I think many we just take 12 them. here. Once our Pride Sovereign is turned on... We get to make they make, make two blossom. three three life linkers. Wait, they have one card. They have, they have run us too, but all right. Uh, sure. They have boss me defense. Yes, it's a pretty big problem. We're gonna start there. I guess I didn't need to start there. I could have maybe waited. Eh. Yeah, I probably should have waited. Eh. Now they have Pride Sovereign can attack, but. They can double block. I guess they have, they have Ronus. Ronus is a pain. Yeah. Ronus is a pain. Gold is a pain. Everything's a pain. Life's a pain. You're a pain. You're a pain. I love Mancer. Everyone, welcome to Nicole. Nicole's my fiance. If you don't know who she is, I'm hanging Shoot. out with Nine Cat. Yep. We got we got a Nine Cat and Burnsy and C2 with the sub. C2, thank you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Second sub of the stream, yep. Wow. We got MZ Soccer as our first sub. Wow. C2 had a good, an interesting question about if Wizards could put up a like a watch list. Okay. For like cards that may or may not be banned. Like a warning. Sort of like, like you know, like we're like, like right now we're watching Ancient Stories and Box Opal. Just yeah. so you know, those cards are in the red. Yeah. And I think that the idea is nice. Like the idea of of wanting that kind of safety cushion for people is nice at the same time though the problem is what if they need to emergency ban a card and it wasn't on the watch list you know then what like that's kind of not good that's a bad look you know man we're stupid Ronus but right. I kind of like it so kind of C2 thank you for the insight thank you for the sub what's your name where are you from how long have you been playing magic favorite card of all time favorite deck of all time most important I'm taking over Jim's stream what's your name where are you from and puppy name please What's up, John? Thanks for tuning in. Nicole is a beauty. What about me? I look great. I got a haircut today. You did. I'm dead sexy. Um, there's no reason to do actually do this end step because it won't on one untap. Oh no, it's, it's my next untap. So it won't untap. Wait, what does it do? It is exert. So when you tap it, it won't untap. But oh. I guess it'll. I guess it'll. It'll trigger to untap for the next un untap step. Yeah, um, so you won't have it back for your next. I think step. we actually need to though. Cause I think we just need the blockers. Sure. And we might, we might as well do it if we're going to do it, so. So it's not going to untap. We have three, three, three lifelinkers and a secret cat. That's actually a really good draw. Kitty. Yes, there are a lot of kitties in our deck. We get that part. Burnsy's not happy. I am here. Thanks for noticing us. Lord. Lord. You are Lord. We got Lord. To, to run nag. That's that's the part I was waiting for you to say. To run ag, new our new sub, Lord. What's your name? Where are you from? 
How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. And C2 is Charles from Quebec, Canada. Favorite hockey team? Um, Troy Riviera? And this, this, this Ronus is really screwing us up. Um, Charles, uh, the favorite deck is Modern Elves. Favorite, uh... Card is Hardened Scale. Puppy name, definitely Karn. I like it. Karn. Karn is still the front runner, the strong front runner. That has, obviously. That's, uh, John's favorite. Golden Knights. I like them Golden Knights. Yes. All right, so we gain a life, get the Pump the Pride Mate. Anointed Procession would be a good add to this deck. Um, I think Anointed Procession is a little too... I, I think you want to be a token deck at that point. All right, so now you get to attack with our, our Double Striker. Because we're, we're, like, kind of stable, honestly. The problem is this Ronus is annoying, but we get to just block it and gain life and oh, stuff. Oh, sure, the 6-6 six, six Double Striker guy. Yeah, we get to attack with a Double Striker and... I guess you do Pride have... Pride Sovereign start. could attack... But they can just trade like Steel Leaf and Carnage Tyrant for it. I don't. Oh, I could have made it bigger. I could have made eleven. They could still block it with lots of stuff and kill it. I think his card's too important. You would have gained a life too. What? Right. If you control three or more creatures, it gets plus one plus one, and you gain a life. You're right. I screwed up. I thought I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I, we know. I thought I had to do with attacking. I didn't really think about it. Never, never seen this card in my entire life. Unplug so. Toaster is a Senator fan. I feel your pain. Name the Dr. Varus. Toaster. Go get wrecked. To toaster, <laughs> I, I can't wait until um, Eric Carlson leaves your team. I'm sorry. Jim, like, <laughs> Jim, like, woke me up last week and was just like, Carlson's going to Tampa. I'm like, oh, honey, can I go back to sleep now? Because that just means Vasilevsky's getting better. But. Yeah. Carlson's <laughs> on my fantasy team. So. Yeah. I'm very invested in, uh. And so him, being, him, him being somewhere else. See, that's the thing. Is like, I guess Tavares didn't like let us build up to the riot. Like, he was just kind of like, yeah, I'll stay with you guys. Bye. <laughs> All right. Um, Lord. What, what, do you want to do Lord's, uh, Lord's little bio there? Sure. Lord is Oliver. Favorite card is Lanowar Elves, Elvish Mystic. What art of Lanowar Elves? <laughs> I believe that is an important question, right? <laughs> Favorite deck is standard mono green devotion, and for a dog name, Avison or Zelda if it's a girl, and Buddy if it's a boy. I like, well, I like Zelda. Welcome. I like Zelda. Zelda's pretty neat. All right, we can attack with our double striker. But welcome, Lord seven, Oliver. Seven, Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the the sub club sellouts. Yeah, this is a this is a board state. Um, for this some a, somehow we have a small army of cats holding off literally. Like fourteen dinosaurs. I, like if this is a small army, I'm an idiot. What's a I'm large so army? Bad. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, that was that whole Ronus thing is a pain in the butt. Yeah, I'm. I'm I, I they attacked with it last turn. I just didn't even think about it. Yeah. They, like the last the last few turns they attack with it. I'm so bad. I'm sorry, it, guys. It's okay. I was even reading the thing and doing all that stuff. No. What do we have in green other than Pride Sovereign? Just Pride Sovereign and, and Cyborg cards. I only had two actual kill spells in our deck, too. That, that was really bad. I'm sorry, folks. That's, yeah, you know. I mean, we're trying to chill and gain life, make our guy bigger, and make a bunch of... I think Pride Sovereign is, like, MVP right now. Yeah, you're just making a whole bunch of dudes. And you're just going to keep making dudes. Yes. Kitty cats. This card's fine. We trample. I mean, like... We're just going to have enough cats to kill them eventually, right? And this pride bane is going to get... Like, they can't really attack with anything but Ronus. And then if Ronus attacks, we just crash them back for a million, so... From, new is better than old. From the vault is the best art, says Lord. By the way. Uh, Barry Tang, resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate resub. that. Second month. Got you to come back. That card's good. Have we seen this new card? It's like free mass. Mm, more like a uh, hero blade hold, but hero blade hold, sure. That one. We're just about wide enough to uh to do some damage here, so. Oh, it's the Johnny's primate vanguard combo you got going. Got it. Yes, the one I didn't realize we had for a turn. Because I Because you were that. distracting me. Yeah. This board state is crazy. Make sure this microphone Jim is, is crazy. set for both of us here. Ah. I don't, don't want to blow you away. Nobody wants to hear. You hear me anyway. 
Yeah, we're close to an alpha strike now. Uh, That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I feel like, because that thing just gets I huge. We have, one, we have one more attack, right? honestly. <laughs> just me one more, one more turn to wait. Just wait do till. You, do you think we should have, like, exalted or whatever again with. I've been doing it every turn I can. It's every yeah. other turn, you get two tokens. Yes. Next turn is the slam turn. Oh, yes. Snap. Blade. Blaine Vane. Blaine Vane. Blaine Vane. Blaine Vane. What's up, my friend? What's your name? Where are you from? How long you play Magic? A favorite card of all time? A favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And puppy name, please. And Prof Kill Pop. Same exact questions, my friend. Welcome. Everyone, welcome our brand new <laughs> no, subs. Repeat them. No. It's not like you have anything going on right now. I'm a name. <laughs> That's a, cro a crocodile? crocodile. We, we actually just watched Hook. So, Crocodile is a good name. Yep. <laughs> John was Opponent's going to be like Scale Behemoth? John was sad, sad when Rivia died. Spoilers. He, he, wasn't, he was more shocked, I think. F6. Than sad. You figure it out. Wait, it has... Vigilance, but they come in tapped and attacking. Correct. <laughs> so that's, Correct. that is really funny. Another sub. I, I can't. 212. I need to what's up, that. my friend? What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. Or Katten. Prof. They have Pop. to be dead, right? Their like, name is Andrew. We have like a million attackers. Hi, Andrew. I don't, I don't know how they're not dead here. By and the way, all We're also going to gain about 100 life. 100 million. So that's how that works. I actually resub during the first stream back. Yes, if you're a Twitch Prime user or an Amazon Prime user, first, it's important to note that you get a free sub every month. So congratulations for that. Please use it on me. But you have to renew it like manually every month, I think. Your opponent so. is now just realizing that they're dead, but they, I don't, I don't. I mean, we're getting through for yeah. three times five, 15. Oh, all these two. <laughs> you forgot They were tapped, four. so I didn't see them. Yeah. The tapped vigilance cats that are attacking all the way on the right. So, um, Your we, we've there obviously going, broken the format. The cats? Obviously broken. This deck is broken. What do they braid? Broken. The cats broken. broken. Wow, you gained all the life. That a Johnny's primate is just, huge. Just 50. Just a casual 50. All right, so our opponent's playing like a red green you do have to run dinosaur esque deck. I would like Ixalan's Binding. I think I would like Settle the Wreckage, actually. Prof Kill Pop. My name is Andrew from South Carolina. Sweet. We're in South Carolina. They've been playing for three months. Very cool. So far, my favorite deck is Ponza. Also, Sophie would be a cute name. I agree. Hmm. I cool can't wait to get 200 dogs and name them all the names that you all have uh, suggested. We'll have a Sophie and a Zelda. Jim B, excuse me. And a Karn and a Buddy. We'll have a Taco and a, what are the gerbil. other ones? A Jim, a Gerbil. <laughs> What do I think about a couple Watch copies of Vanquisher's second. Banner or Immortal Sun? Immortal Sun's too expensive. I think Vanquisher's Banner costs five. Oh, what's right? that, that Sarkin enchantment? Like any time a creature for or greater or something, yeah. something garbage deal. So I want some something. removal spells. I don't think I want that many removal spells. Blaine Vane is Blaine from Ogden. Ogden, like Ogden's Tavern in Diablo. Uh, Utah, playing as Diamond Cat, favorite card is Fling. So, Fling's great. I played Fling and Extended back in the day, in Affinity. I, one of my best magic stories ever involves the card Fling. I'll tell it if you're nice to me. Favorite deck is Black White Angels. Puppy name is Lyra, a female, and Shadow of Male. My aunt was dating a dude for a while once who was in the FBI. A really cool guy named Rob. He had a dog named Shadow. That was the best trained dog I've ever met in my entire life. He would be, Shadow, go lay down. He would walk, lay down, and look at him and be like, Yes, Master, what's next? He was great. Uh, I don't know cut here. Um, Prof is from Myrtle Beach. That, that'll be a couple seems. hours north of where we bought our house. But... <gasps> Hi, Emily! Hi! Myrtle Beach. You should come down to... Well, Barry you, you kind actually, of fell a drink in you Greece. You should come down to that's, us. That's Farnham. <laughs> you should come down to us. Yeah, so wait. Diablo takes place in Utah? Q and not you says, My girlfriend just looked at the screen and said, That lady has the prettiest <laughs> smile. Oh, yes, I'll oh you? Listen, lady. Fine. Fine. That's so sweet. Amped Phil. What's up, my friend? New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. For the Udabla fans out there, go to my YouTube. 
check out this fun playthrough I did of Diablo. Really fun stream I did for the 20th anniversary of Diablo. It was really cool. It's classic. Check it out on my YouTube channel. Links in chat. The only bad part about it is I wasn't there. I was upstairs watching. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> All right, turn my liner off on the play. It's going to be tough. And I'm only smiling so much because Jim said we had to be nice to him in order to hear his fling story. <laughs> Do you want to hear my fling story? I've if you want to hear my fling, if you want to hear my fling story, you have to put a Mr. Destructoid in chat. That is the only way I'll tell my fling story. This is awkward. Uh, Brontodon's obviously very good against our Destiny, which is one of our best cards. You're um, and they're way ahead on the play with the Lino Rolf. Primate doesn't really do anything. Pouncer doesn't really do anything. We play a Tap Land. We could try and play a Sovereign, but it might die. Um, but we can't play a Sovereign the following turn. I played Diablo 2, and I played Diablo 3, too, very casually. You need to get Lewis, please. <laughs> Absolutely. LWH is Louis. See, is it Lewis or Louis? I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> From Australia. Ooh, we're in Australia. That's pretty cool. Favorite card, Promo Dissolve. First card you ever owned. Very nice. Favorite deck is Mono Blue Devotion. Borrow this deck from a friend to get first place at your first FNM to win the promo dissolve. That's a pretty cool, like, you know, A plus B equals C. I like it. Puppy name Ariel for a girl and, and Castile for a boy. Castile. Castile? Sweet. I like it. Jim's more uh, well spoken than I am, believe it or not. <laughs> that is a pretty sweet story. I kind of like that. Nothing. Commune for uh, Alpha next turn. Good. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, our our uh, our cards aren't doing much here. Yeah, you know. Just, just don't die in the next like five turns. Next one. I got it. I got it. Hurry up. <laughs> and Phil is Philip Marley. 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 From Savannah. From Savannah, Georgia. That's right. <gasps> Have you, do you go to the Jolly Goblin? That's Jim and I love the Jolly Goblin. And the, and the Chromatic Dragon. And well, the Chromatic Dragon is right next to the Jolly Goblin. I feel like if you go to one, you have to go to the other. It's true. <laughs> when you finish with the Jolly Goblin, you have to go to the Chromatic Dragon and have a drink. Yes. I guess you can go to the Chromatic Dragon without going to the Jolly Goblin, but I don't know. But started playing Magic during Journey into Nyx. Favorite card is Nyx Fleece Ram. I played that card a few times. Favorite deck is Dragon Storm. Is that like a play a bunch of big dragons? You know what the card Dragon Storm does? I do not. Cool. All right. So if you had to design a magic card called Dragon Storm, <laughs> what would you have the card do? Puppy name is Penny Lane. That's really cute. <laughs> Savannah Lion Games as well. We visited there. <laughs> um, Dragon Storm. Yes. If you had a card. I feel like called you know, Dragon like, Storm. What would it do? I feel like it would. Don't put it in chat. Don't I'm don't don't looking, look at chat. I'm not looking. Don't look at chat. It would be like come on, a, love man. What are you doing? Would it oh, be something like a deal X amount of damage for every dragon you control kind of Think thing? Think about the name, Dragon, dragon Storm. Storm. Okay. What would the card do? Is it a storm card? I'm just asking you what the card would do. I'm not asking you. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me think of like um, Storm Breath Dragon. That's all I can think of, because it also has Storm and Dragon in the name. <laughs> it. Dragon Storm. Yes, just like think of like literal Dragon Storm. What would the card Dragon it, Storm do? Like, don't just don't don't steal don't three fish, damage don't, to every don't fish your information. non dragon non flying creature something. Philly's, I don't know. She's not getting there, folks. I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh, dragon Storm. Like I know what like fire breathing does. Does it do anything like to do with that? Where it pumps things? No. Fire breathing dragons? No. Dragon Storm. Yes. Yes. You're gonna be. You're gonna feel really mad when you. When I tell you what it does. It's. <laughs> All again. I mean, like, like oh what do God. dragons do? Dragons are, they're usually red, and they usually have like. Anyone haste. else feeling really angry right now? They Is have, anyone else like irrationally angry? They have haste, and they. I don't. They usually deal damage, like besides combat Dragon damage. Dragon. Yes. Storm. Yes. 
I mean, I literally, I played a, a card called Colgan the Storm's Fury. Dragon. <laughs> Stop. Caleb Shear Storm. Wait, oh, <clears throat> so it makes <clears throat> a bunch of dragons. I just want you to design a card without, okay. without, without any input or direction from me. Is it like create a 4-4 four, four dragon storm? Okay, that's at least close to where we were at. The card Dragon Storm is a 9-mana sorcery. Okay. So search your library for a dragon. Okay. And put it in play, and it has storm. Okay. It was part of a combo deck back in the day. We could play Sovereign here, dies to a braid, but I think I want to. See, I, I asked him if it had anything to do with, like, the storm mechanic, or... I wasn't going to just feed like, it to you, you know? See, oh, look, I have this... See, Mr. Fulham literally said exactly well, what that, I said. If you had, if you had, if you had, if you had gotten there, storm. I would have been impressed. However, you did not get there. <laughs> What do you mean I didn't get there? I did get there. It just took me longer than you were expecting. Okay. <laughs> There's uh, a difference between that and not getting there. I'm going to use this right now so they can't, like... I guess they would need, like, multiple removal spells to kill it. I think we're I think we're in... Despite our pouncers being pretty bad not drawing lands, we're in pretty good shape this game. Like, Farce, Farce, Farce into Brontodon is pretty bad. I'm going to do one. Nicole, so knows, Nicole knows, what, knows what Storm does. And so Southern Remember Australia. Forest. See, I know Southern Australia. I know, like, Adelaide down there. I'm trying to remember what else is down there. Pop, that's a very that's generous That's the only one close. that I can remember from Southern. <laughs> hey, you be nice. <laughs> Jim's mean. Ask her what Storm normally does. I know what Storm normally does. Oh, Adelaide. <laughs> I guess we just chill. We will obviously love to draw lands because our, our regal crocodiles look really good right now. Obviously, I'm not that well. well yeah, so, yeah, so, in so Dragon Storm was the deck that won it won Worlds. Okay. In uh, the year I played Worlds in '06, like my, my first Worlds in Paris in the Louvre, they literally had the tournament in the Louvre. It was dope. I did bad. All I had to do was like get like one or two more pro points than the minimum, and I would have gotten gold that year. But I suck. Anyway, um, but yeah, the see nobody likes Dragonstorm anyway. Uh, so yeah, the the deck won the tournament. The dude screwed up in top eight or top four, uh -huh. and he miscounted his mana for his rituals. Was like, oh no, what do I do now? And he I cast a repeal die. on a Savannah line. <laughs> and found to draw a card. Hoping to just draw a ritual. He drew the third copy of Rite of Flame. Which gave him exactly enough mana to cast Dragon's Storm despite his mistake. And then won the game. And I think he won the tournament, but I don't remember. Pretty sick. Didn't you say you just you have to have a lucky break in order for yep. you know like tournaments to work out? So I could just bash for seven here. I mean like I could make tokens or bash. <laughs> um Obviously you can't play Destiny because they have brought it on in play. Well, what, I, I mean, that would get rid of everything, and it kind of takes them away further from, like, any sort of gold to play or anything like that. I mean, he's pretty far from gold anyway. Uh, is, they are pretty far are from they? gold. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, playing Pounce or making a token is great. The sure. question is, do we attack with the Sovereign or not? Sure. Instead of make, I mean, make two more tokens. more tokens. I don't think two one ones is worth not attacking for seven. I'm just going to attack with everything. Actually, I can't attack with the Pride Mage. Sure. Go, like, bang. I gain life. This gets bigger. Yeah, I'm fine with this. And you don't care about leaving those to eternalize and stuff I guess right yeah I mean like we're just dealing a, sh a, a lot, lot of damage. damage here and putting another one in play ooh it's separate I didn't know that I thought all combat damage counted as one instance apparently it does not so it gets two counters I did. I would have not known that in real life hmm. I mean, they're pretty dead now now it's, a, now it's it being a 4 for me that play like obvious for sure because now it's a 4 bigger than that they got a Carney T here, which is Beat fine. Dragon Storm with regular Storm. Now we get to play Radiant Destiny and Howsome. Hi, Trev, even though you weren't saying hi to me. You specifically only said hi to Jim. That's not bad either. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, think this, I think this mostly kills them. Name Cat. We have... This is four. This is four. This has to be blocked. Yeah, there's just, just no good blocks here. Cat's getting it done. Kitty, kitty. Getting it done. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, that was a good one, too. Amped Phil. Uh, World Championships, like, 
I don't know, like, oh, nine maybe. Uh-huh. Um, Patrick Chapin is mm-hmm. playing against Gabriel Nassif. Yeah, and, kill, kill them back right. guardians. And, things. and there was a card called Ignite Memories. Okay. It's a five-mana sorcery with okay. Storm. It says your opponent shuffles their hand, reveals a card at random, and then they, they take damage equal to the mana cost of the card. And Chapin was playing, like, a, a kind of Storm combo deck. Okay. He cast it against Nassif. I believe I'm getting this right. Chat, you can make fun of me if I'm not. And he cast it for, like, six. And the Seif is at, like, nine. Sure. And the Seif's hand is, like, Dragonstorm, Rite of Flame, you know, Seeding Song or something. Sure. So, like... Yeah. And they roll, like, the six rolls, and it hits, like, Rite of Flame, Rite of Flame, Rite of Flame, Rite of Flame... Four seeding song would be, I don't, whatever. It ended up being like he he just survived, yes. like insane. He never hit Dragon Like you ever hit? Like there was like multiple like just dead cards. Yes. In his in multiple in, in iterations, and he just survived and he killed him the next turn. Yeah. I was just teasing. I'm I'm not a. Everybody says hi to Jim. People usually don't say hi to me because they just don't know my name. C two yeah. says to add to my idea of a pre ban list. I think the very reason that Mox Opal has not been banned already is Wizards, while not acknowledging the secondary market. Knows it would create a solid shitstorm. <laughs> Putting up a list would make non-serious players liquidate. Kind of, it's it. The problem is again, C two. If they ban a card that's not on a list, everyone's gonna go crazy. Whenever a card goes on a list, people are gonna go crazy. It's just too much craziness. Oh, you know? Footage of this moment on the Magic YouTube. Yes. Yeah. So it's a fun one to watch. Check it out. You know, it's a, there's a three cards. <laughs> Yeah, and the storm was and like. You can see him sitting there, and yeah, like, he, like he knows he's dead, but then, yeah. he, then he just like doesn't die. <laughs> so, Colbert and then he wasn't dead. Yeah, we're playing. Sounds, it sounds reasonable. Yeah, like hail Colbert. I mean, if they don't play a creature, we get the sacred cat and gain a life. Probably, probably, this game's a three-three. It's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty pretty interested in, in this um, the way this life link works. Um, Hi, Sarah. I didn't realize that lifelink worked like that. I thought that combat damage was considered one all one large instance of damage. I don't want to trigger the pride mate once. The fact that it triggers off multiple things is actually pretty sweet. Um, so this is really awkward. We're not going to play this durable spell. They just have a braid or whatever. Um, the question now is: Do we cast the? I mean, do we mean do we play scatter groves or do we keep it? We do want our fifth land, but we also if we draw another land, we don't want a sixth land. So yeah, so I almost say you just. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hold it. I would hold or there'll it. probably be a hole in our curve somewhere we can play it tapped. Possibly even next turn. That's fair. So, Nasif's luck fluctuates wildly. I mean, most people's luck does fluctuate wildly. It's kind of why it's luck. It's up and down, you know. We played a game Magic tonight. Me versus John. And, and uh, me. John says John and Nicole play together usually. Oh my god, we got Chain World, Chain Lord. Oh my god, I'm the worst Magic player of all time. Um, yeah, I figured. Never mind. Leon and War Leader. Okay. So, John says, I kind of want a mulligan. And Nicole says, No, it's fine. The no, game- I, you say it like I snapped it off. I took a minute and I was like, Listen, I go, We can't, you can't just mulligan. Because his thing was like, he he He's been mulliganing to seven. Like, we've let him mulligan to seven because he's, like, learning. So he never goes to, like, five or four or whatever and has to start from behind. Like, we've been teaching him, you know, you can just mulligan if you don't think your hand's good enough. So the thing is, if he doesn't have a perfect seven, he doesn't want to keep it. Like, if he doesn't have, like, you know, like, the the dual land, forest, mountain, you know, one drop, two drop, three drop removal spell, he's like, no, I don't want to keep this. And I'm like, but, but. Oh, another chain whirler, come on. Brutal. Oh man. How's working on the house? Um, so, it's getting there. I, I did a, a catch up video. You can watch that on YouTube. So yes, it wasn't a snap keep, but I thought it was a keep. Yeah. So Nicole says keep, and the entire game went like this from John's side of the board. Forest go, forest go, forest go, forest go, go, go discard, tapped red red, red green land, go die. Didn't play a spell. Yeah. And you know what he did? He said, okay, good game. And he shook Jim's hand and gave him a hug. Don't play Glorybringer. God damn it. This has been... This is great. We wonder why tribal decks aren't playable in standard. 
It's funny because I feel like that deck that you played yesterday could not beat anything that played Llanowar Elves, and I feel like this deck can't beat anything that plays Mountain. Right? I mean, literally every card in our hands is, is gain life. I mean, like, Some we could have we could have maybe played this Some game differently. We could have maybe we should just played the. I can't play the Pride Mate on two. I don't know. Just play. Something. I could have played Pride Mate instead of the two one ones. I just didn't think they'd have a second chain whirler. Yes, he is a good sportsman. Yeah, he's he's, he's not actually, but he's learning. He's he's getting much better at it, which is good. So. He is getting better. All right, that was pretty embarrassing. Uh, our opponent played three cards and we died. Uh, Yay! I don't really know if we want authority of the consoles. I guess we don't want. Um, we need to cut some of these crappy one drops. Like these Leon and Vanguards have to go. Honestly, a Dorn Pouncer is also pretty bad. Um, I don't mind bringing in the settles. I guess. I mean, so you gain life from. That was not a nut draw. That was literally just a three drop into a four drop. A three drop into a five drop. They played three cards. That was not a nut draw. Those cards are just good. I mean, but the thing is, they're like the best cards in standard right now. So. Yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> all right, so I was thinking, I think a Johnny. Yes. Adversary of Tyrants is very good. Um, I've not done not done Green, Green White Warriors now. Hold on, did you hit some mate yet? No, I. I want to hear your fling story. The fling story? I want to hear the fling. No story. one, no one put, put stuff in Everybody chat. Everybody put Mister Destructoid in chat, and you ignored everyone. You see those? All right. Jim's scrolling up right now. It's not that. That's not, that's not everyone. That's that's five people put in. That's the same person twice. Only five people well, put well, in more, Destructoids. More, well, I mentally did. That's more than five. No, it's not pop. One. Pop again. So it's card, pop, key, flob, mancer, million, little. Uh, was a, these are, these are, and then that's, Mr. Photon devouring. That's not a, that's not a lot. So you need spammed Mr. Yeah, I want to see spammed Mr. Destructoids, and then I will tell right, my fling so story. One Apparently one Mr. Destructoid doesn't count. Correct. I almost want this Ajani unyielding. I don't think this card's very good. I guess it pumps up the... I'm going to try it. I don't know. We're on the play. Would I, ever, would I ever consider doing an intro to modern, competitive modern, well, like a tutorial video? I would need a better explanation of that. Like, tutorial to what, exactly? I mean, he thought about doing, like, tutorial videos, like, kind of like, how to play Magic, or, oh my okay, god. Okay, this is better. That's Although, better? a lot of it just Million Little doing it over and over and over again. <laughs> so, Million Little is kind of... Flipping the, uh, well, I see at least five. Uh, there's on others the in there too, but all right. So the story is. Don't let him silence you. Mil I used to play a deck called Fling Affinity, and I played this deck in Extended. This is like the format that was modern before modern was modern, and I was Chip playing up. Fling Affinity, which is basically like a lot of the affinity cards you're used to, Blue. but also Atog, and the card Fling, and yeah. Wait, what? What's our opponent playing blue for? It's possible they're playing Grixis Dragons, honestly. That's like kind of a deck. We better, better draw a land. <laughs> um, so, right, Fling Affinity is played in Popper. It's definitely a kind of a thing. Wait, should we have... Oh, shit, I played the wrong... Yeah. Ugh. I just can't talk and play. I'm just That's why stupid. I told you to do it before you submitted the deck. I can't walk and chew gum. I can't talk and play. It's actually just unreal. <laughs> Unsilent Ninja, I see you. Anyway... You're so now, now we're totally off curve too. Like if we draw a land, we're never gonna cast the authority. <laughs> Whatever. Magma spray. Tilt. I'm so glad I'm here. Anyway, um, so I played. So I played. I, I played this like it was fling affinity. It's basically an affinity deck with Atog, cranial plating, and fling. So you could like kill your opponent and turn three pretty pretty consistently. Yeah. Oh, and um, yeah. I'm playing in like round five of a PTQ at a. Uh, Somewhere in the northeast, in Pennsylvania or whatever. I'm like, you know, four and one or something. Mm -hmm. Or five, whatever. X and one in like round four or five or six or whatever. And my opponent is playing essentially a mono blue storm deck. Because they could have Chandra, but I think I'm fine just firing off here. Actually, I could cast the, the Radiant Destiny first. Okay. Which puts this thing into five toughness. Which makes it a lot harder to kill. Eh, let's do it. We got time. So I'm um, playing against some, uh, uh, basically a mono blue storm deck that kills a brain freeze. And it's game three. My opponent turned three to me in game one. I beat them in game two. Whatever it was. Game three. And uh, cat. And my opponent is going to turn three me. And they start going off. And they're like, game, 
and I look at them and I try and summon whatever bile exists in my cold black heart. And I look them in the eye and I say, do it. Like someone who is so emotionally defeated and so upset they're going to be knocked out of a tournament by a turn three kill that they need to do it and I am just a a stepping stone on the way to their greatness. A hollow man. Yes. A hollow broken man. So they start comboing. And draw in a million cards, casting cunning wishes, looping stuff, a million mana, minds, desires, whatever they want. And they're just doing this and doing that and doing this and doing that. Very inefficiently, uh, mind you. I get a disintegration. I kind of suck, but I think we're going to go for it. Um, and, you know, willy nilly this, willy nilly that. And they, all right, I'm, I'm done having my fun. I'll brain freeze you for a million. Go. As they say, go. So, I smile. I untap. Take Aether Vial up to three, up to two. A Vial and an Atog before my draw step. Sacrifice all my permanents. They lose life to my Disciple of the Vault. I fling and kill them. You've never seen someone more stunned in your entire life. And I think that I sold it because they could have easily Cunning Wished for, um, yeah, their I was going to say because your opponent had killed you? Correct. The, the Cunning Wish sideboard had a card that was like Words of Wisdom. Both players draw two cards as a way to kill you and not let you untap. Um, I don't think we want this a Johnny. Pride Sovereign seems a lot better. Actually, I guess the second Radiant Destiny is not. It's pretty good. I don't know. Like, I mean, you gotta, like, you're, you're a little strapped on mana, so it's just going to be. Yeah, gonna a Giant's be one bad. So, a Giant's thing. bad. Okay. So, um. You don't have an army. So. Yeah. They could have killed me, but they were just so overconfident because what could, what could this affinity deck do? And I, I really sold it to them, you know? So I killed them. They were stunned, just stunned, floored, flabbergasted. And uh, and I won. That's my story. Yay! It's a good story. Okay, so we can play Destiny and attack with the War Leader. They could block with everything. We would lose the War Leader, they would lose everything, and I would have two, three, three life linkers left over. Second Authority is terrible. I might even just hold it in my hand. And then Pride Sovereign will be great. Um, Why hold it in your hand? Another Nickel Bolus? Yeah, like, just like... They're, they, they're, I mean, it's legendary. Like, does do what it, what it flips or whatever? Imperial troops have entered space. No, Imperial troops have entered space. I was viable in Modern. Nah. It's like a fringe deck. Alright, so we're going to attack. What does Brain Freeze do? What does Brain Freeze do? It's a storm. Storm card says, it says two mana storm mill three. Ah. An in-depth tutorial video on how to play Jeskai Control. I'd like that have much less of an audience than my usual streams. Um, so. Eh. They want to block with everything. They have three cards left. Nickel Balls is good. Um, like if they flip it. I guess we'll just cast it. I don't see them casting. And, eh, I'm just not going to. Does, does Nickel Bowls make you discard things? Once they no. It? But it is pretty good. But yeah, that's my story. Or an article like hashtag MTG stories a while back. It was a fun article to write. It was like a... fun uh, like meme thing for a while hashtag MTG stories I, mean, I definitely wrote the article I don't know why I'm not finding it but it's up there somewhere <sighs> okay so they Chandra kill this <sighs> being a land Hmm. Alright, reach Pride Sovereign, so they go. They what does that do when it has the city like, They can flip this thing and kill it, but... Oh, uh, it gets Vigilance. Uh. They, if they can flip Nickel Bolas and minus it to kill it, it'll be on four. And then we just draw a land and play Karakul. I mean, unfortunately, the authority of the consoles are really, really bad. We just thought they were playing Mono, right? Because they played only Mountains last game. Yeah, well, or, and and, and Canyon Slav, but whatever. It's... But all we saw were Goblin Chain Whirlers and a yeah. uh, Glory Bringer. Like they can use the red from Shonda to flip the Nickel Bulls. Yes, Spellweaver Eternal 
is bad. Pyromancer is better. By the way, all new subs. We have a Discord. Join it. That's true. Private Discord chat server for subs only. You could hear more old man magic stories from Jim in there. Eh. <laughs> One time at this PTQ. Back in the day, and it was snowing out. <laughs> and I had to walk through the snow. And then I got to the PTQ. And it was 11 rounds of extended. Because back then, we didn't have modern because it wasn't modern, it was old. Because I was old. Because it was a long, long time ago. What was I talking about? Your honor. Oh, yeah. The way magic used to be. 11 rounds of hell. Back before they printed stupid cards like this. I don't recall a 12 round BDQ. I'm like, I recall some 10 rounders. Alright, they have Nicol Bolas. They get to kill this. We just draw land here, and I think we're like, we're not okay, but it's not like the worst. God, we draw land, we kill Nicol Bolas. So many good things happen we to us. make a big pride. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. Why didn't you, did you stop me? I did try to stop you. You watch your mouth. I'm really on my game tonight. Yeah. I'm just in like a hanging out, telling stories kind of mood, you know? It's, it's past my bedtime. I don't even usually stream this late. And, I mean, at this point, I'd almost play the other authority. Because if they play a creature, it'll trigger I mean, twice. They can just, now they can definitely just cast Nicol Bolas again. Just make a flyer. So they're more likely to cast Nicol Bolas now. And this card is necessary. God, if we draw a land there, it would be so good. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, cast a second Nickel Bolas creature. They have it. Right. Got it, got it. This deck is like mono red splashing for Nickel Bolas. Uh -huh. Before the 28th. Nah, unfortunately, I think... Uh, 28th, that's like... Next Saturday. Like three days. It's like ten days, but that's okay. I think today's the 18th. No, you don't. That's why I don't I'm know what year you. it is. <gasps> That's why I'm letting you know. Cobra Commander, Cobra Commander. G.I. Joe. I mean, they have four cards in hand. Our sideboarding is so bad. Oh my god, come on. I feel on. like Jim and I have played in so many events together. And I feel like we've only been paired together like three times. Because like, you usually lose and I usually win. Truth hurts, that's... God damn it. I've top aided plenty of IQs that I've never been paired up against with Jim before. So. Can we just draw land? Can we just, can we just do it? Please? <laughs> can we? Can we, can we, can we? Please, please, please. <laughs> This is drawing two cards a turn with Nickel Bolas. <laughs> we can't win if this goes on much longer. <gasps> like, a 5-5 five five and two 3-3s three will be 4-4s. Five four four sweltering Suns. And they just wasted for Sweltering Suns? Come on, please. please. What is this? New Sarkin. Did you say this is bad? It's not great. However, if they don't discard a card here, it means we are totally screwed. Discard a Glorybringer. We're totally screwed. <laughs> Why would they discard Glorybringer? How could the rest of their hand be better than Glorybringer? I, I don't know. Come on. <clears throat> That's not a land. We're not getting wrecked. We're like, we were like, if we just drew a fifth land, like in the land, like the last like four turns, this game was over. Like, the turn they flipped this, if we drew a, the fifth land, the game was over. Jim just wants to see our opponent. We also screwed up, like, three times Nicol this game. Oh, we lost game one, too, didn't we? That, that felt like a different, a different match, because it was, like, a different deck. Yeah. But, yes, yeah, so Jim and I have been paired together one time in round one. That was the first time I ever played Legacy ever. So, I just... I just scooped to you so that you could teach me how to play my deck. I mean, her deck was a burn deck with one goblin guide and one chain lightning in it out of my cube. So. And I did okay. I went like three. 
two or something like that. Or, like, I don't remember. Like, I lost to you technically, but I, like... I, Land. <laughs> Why does it have to be like this? Huh? Kitty. Big double stroke kitty. Go, kitty, go. Are we dead yet? Go, kitty, go. Minus 12, exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. That's you. You're going to be the target player. <gasps> yeah, Jim, also you haven't been specifying. You want an untapped land. I'll take anything at this point. I like, think it's, it's, it's been like five turns. Like Untapped land. It's true. Escape shift does get lands and is legal and standard. What? Oh. Negative rainbow. Negative got a positive rainbow right here. Yeah. Yeah, we need some kitty power. We need some nine cat. It's cutting. It's covering up the. Uh, what's it called? The planeswalkers and the blood. planeswalkers that are that killing are destroying us? us. Yes. Negative rainbow. New sub. Negative rainbow. What's your name? Where you from? I think you should actually make the cat. How cover long you play magic? Favorite card of all time. All Favorite of the deck planeswalkers. Of, Put them back up there. Put it back up there. There we go. There we go. This game is going great. There's nothing wrong with this game. You know what? Actually, we're winning. We're winning. We're winning. Don't worry about it. We're winning. Everything's fine. Look at all the cool stuff we have in play. Well, only has three lands in play. We're winning. This is an easy game. Just look over there for a second. We won. Yay. Yay. We did it. We got there. And we're draw land now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might have passed the point of being uh, being relevant. All right, so we're one on one. Um, Why not play the kitties? I'm just going to die. <laughs> no, I won't. You want to send kitties to their death for no reason? I mean, they would send burns to his death for no reason. <laughs> no, they would eat him. That is a reason. Because oh. they're mean. We don't like them. If you're studying and welcome to the mystery, my name's Jim Davis. That's Nicole. And we're hanging out. I'm a little late night stream. I'm not usually on at night. I'm actually a little tired, but you know, I said I would do a late night stream. Yep. And here we are. It's me and Jim, the Nyan Cat, and Bernsey. Bernsey! The Nyan Cat is trying to nudge Bernsey awake. Give, did you give negative rainbow? <laughs> negative rainbow to spiel? I did. Right? Did? Didn't I? I don't know. We're both senile. We're old. It's past my bedtime. It's past my bedtime. It's past too. my bedtime. What do you want from me? But yes, everybody... See? Oh, you. there we go. Danish from Seattle. Good old Seattle. I've been there before. Playing since Theros. Don't really have a favorite card. Favorite deck is Old Imperial Painter when top was legal. Pour one out. Just kidding. I hated that card. But I still love you. And the line breaks left. Hmm? Huh? If you don't count that match, we are undefeated, actually. So we're one on one um, honestly, the deck is kind of impressed. I feel like Radiant Destiny plus Regal Rockle plus War Leader has been pretty great. Sovereign's been good, too. These cards aren't great. Sovereign's pretty good. Um, but, I mean, we beat the Dinosaur deck by outclassing their creatures. No opponent, no. Uh, Line Breaks, got it. No worries, my friend. Let's break out the alcohol. I mean, I have a lot to do tomorrow. <laughs> I have to write article? Oh, I meant to put up a little thing. Sell out with me, oh yeah, sell Final out slash me re sub. Two months. Thank you, thank you. Join in the match. Where's that going? Right down here. So everybody needs to watch Jim tonight and tomorrow. That's a lot of Jim. Too much Jim. Too much. And in like a 16 hour period. There we go. Tomorrow, we're doing, a, we're doing an arena stream. M19. Woo Give away some beta keys. This hand is terrible. Keep. We got this. It's fine. You're fine. One drop, two drop, cycle land. Yay, do that. Can't ever beat a chain whirler. That was good. <laughs> Leonin Vanguard. 
And it'll be a 2-2 two -two after your opponent When is my normal stream Jane time? Brother. There is no normal stream time. We're in the middle of trying to move, and life is hectic. So follow me on Twitter, follow the stream, and you'll be notified when I go live. I can't I can't play Pouncer here. I just can't do it. Attack. Like. Just attack. Or cycle, I guess. That's fine. Do that. I love playing spells. You crazy? Jim is the king of Drago. King's a stretch, but that's the thing. I just, no, I, just gotta, not, I didn't say you were the king of I just unintentional really... draws. I said you were the king of Drago. Hi, Chain Warlord. I told you. I really think this card is just the stupidest thing ever. Just such bad design. It's unbelievable. I'm like, well, I'm trying to play this cool new card from the set. Oh, there's <laughs> one toughness. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, you want to enjoy your new M19 card. Get wrecked. <laughs> All right. I mean, we're, we're just going to rock this thing. Because our goal is to get Warlier in play. So. Sounds good. Go, kitty, go. Yes, East Coast Morning Street for the West Coast. That's why West Jim, side. Jim's here to make you all happy. Chain Wheeler is better than Ferocidon? Yeah, obviously. We've been doing a lot of stuff around, running around. Had to be up early in the mornings. Oh, pretty God. often. So since we've been up, Jim's been streaming earlier. And we've been going to bed earlier because we're old. You're not Barry, dead. no problem, my friend. Once we move and everything gets settled... Um, you know, things are going to be a little more... Oh, everybody's so nice. Everybody's saying thank just, you for staying with fucking dead. I wonder if this will work. Frozen on band made sense at the time. What if they unban Frozen and ban Chain Warlock? What's up, 90? I mean, that would make the format better, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't think I should necessarily do that, but... Hi, Fist. Fister? Fister? I'm going with Fister. Alright, so they just have a like a lightning strike, we just die anyway. I mean Don't die. I'd say it's like two percent they don't have it. I'll take those odds. Obviously strike kills us anyway, so they have a braid, whatever. Probably a braid, but Yep. Yeah. I mean I don't know. So I guess we could have gone to one there. It means we just died to everything anyway, so. This is called performance art. Where you don't say anything, and you just like, just do the art. The crowd has to understand. What you're doing. They gotta really get it. Do and I have to understand too? It's a little obscure. It's not I'm not saying what I mean. I'm just making it look like you kinda know what I might be doing. That's the name of this deck should be. Like don't chain whirler me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um alright, so Chain Whirler. This is actually red them. black, so we're going to board accordingly. Um this should be better for us than the, than the previous deck was, I think. Uh, do you want the authorities? I th think. Excuse me. I mean, we're cutting all the vanguards, and we're cutting two bouncers. It's possible we got a Johnny too. Honestly, other Johnny doesn't seem great. I guess one natural. Ugh. It kills Hard of Kieran, but. What else kill kills Hard of Kieran? Not much. I mean, we don't necessarily need. I mean, Hard of Kieran's kind of a hole. We have we have Thopter arrest Rest and Ixalan's Binding and Settle. A Johnny doesn't seem great. It seems okay on the play. I guess this is fine. You want the other Johnny instead? It's so expensive. It is good. Um, You've been really good at drawing land. Sometimes. I think on the play, we still want the adversary of Johnny. That's rough. Hey, you know. That was rough. Yeah, when I'll play first. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. 
I have a little faith here. You gotta have faith. Oh, you gotta have faith. I know that song. Go ahead, metal. Yes. I want you to stop being cranky. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna play Destiny. I'm gonna play Warrior. I draw another land. We're gonna get this damn Pouncer out of damn Chain Whirler range while also dealing four. Please just draw, just draw a land. Please. Please draw a land. Please. Please. Ask him nicely. I mean. Why do you keep getting pushed off camera? I don't know. Why do you keep pushing me off camera? What? They are play they're what? playing. They're playing this deck too? What? Mind blown. What is going on? I don't know. Can you please draw land? Nice untapped land. Nice untapped land. Kitty. <laughs> Send. I respect it. Look, it's a land. All right. Godspeed, land. you, Leon and War Leader. Godspeed. I mean, it's basically has to be disintegration. They, they missed the land drop last turn, though, so it's. Oh, never mind. That was turn four. Yeah. They did miss the land drop. They their their hand could be all lands. But it has to be disintegration. I don't think anything else kills this. I agree. So. Like. No, they're they just they're just like playing the mono red splash and the deck that's kind of popular. Is it good? It's okay. It's playing a lot of good cards, like most of the decks in standard do. So we attack, gain two, and deal seven. And then we can play another war leader, but don't really have any good blocks. Um, we are scared of Glorybringer. We can't stop Glorybringer from exerting, which I guess isn't really a problem. We could just attack and leave up Settle, but it's like super obvious. Um, I mean, is it though? It's pretty, we just play Lance like go, go in our all creature deck. like. Yeah, they might think, I think we're sitting there with three lands. I think we're playing another another war leader, I think. Glorybringer is not lethal. Four, eight, nine, ten. It is, it is lethal. I'm bad at math. Landbringer, four, eight, eleven, yeah. Oh, no, we no, 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 we, no we, gain, we gain two life. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I was going for. And yeah, also, I, that's if you don't like play anything here, or if they kill whatever you play or whatever. So you gain. Get a nine. They're also just like almost dead. Yeah. I guess we could just like not die, and like hold up settle, and then just get him again next turn. Cause like this is a pretty pretty sweet attacker. Yeah, I'll just say go. I I don't really know what exactly what's in this deck as far as like combinations of cards that can kill us. But yeah, this is maybe this is too nitty. I don't. I'm not really. I, I'm, I'm I feel really like not sure. this is good insurance. I feel like you're like the board is in our favor at the moment. So that's yeah. There's nothing. Okay, it's fine. That's like pretty good. Yeah. But the problem is if we so we cast this and they kill this. It's still fine. We get a lot of lifelinking attackers. Yeah. Um. I mean, like, I think disintegration here is reasonably likely. As such, and we are not dead to Glorybringer. We are. No. Double block yeah. the War Leader. It's like 
They don't have anything like haste or whatever that they can. I think they have any, any damage spell to try and double up on this thing. That's it's also like a possibility. Yeah, they don't play like hazard or whatever. We actually attacking isn't even really great because we play Karako on attack and they, they have a parade. They just kill it. Huh? <laughs> thanks, sure. thanks, Tiff. Cats. Cats. Hundred cats. Cats on cats. cats on cats on cats on cats on boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. And... Hey Siri, do you know how to beatbox? Volume on? Here's one I've been practicing boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. <laughs> I can do this all day. Cats and boots and 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 cats. I think it's attack. Uh, Puppy! I'm not gonna attack. I think they have disintegration into Glorybringer, I'm dead. Ugh. Just this attack. Is gross. Attack. Alright, fine. I should maybe play Karakul then. Uh, I'm honestly not sure. I feel like it's not... I don't know. I feel like you just attacking like this... Well, the, thing is, like, the big thing was, then... like, if I play Karakul and they disintegrate this, it kind of sucks. Yeah. So the big thing here was going to combat and seeing what they do. They sure. seem to have actual nothing and they're just dead. I was going to so, say, like, because okay, you can always just settle on the... I feel, I feel like settle is your insurance. Yeah. Like, if something ever happens, you settle and you'd be like, okay, right, so now, now I that we're on the draw... Tribal puppies. I don't think I want the adversaries. Tribal puppies was an option? There are no puppies in Magic. There has to be. There are hounds. There are no puppies. There's definitely a puppy card. I kind of want, like, one naturalize. But, oh, come on. Why would you do this to me? This is real rude, all right? I'm just trying to play my little cat deck against my opponent's ridiculous deck full of chain rollers and mythics. Like, it's actual cards and stuff. Yeah. Buttons Gaming, thanks, my friend. I appreciate that. Jackal Pup. I guess, Hi, everybody I mean, it's buttons. not creature type puppy. I can't play Radiant Destiny and name puppy. Can you, though? This is so dumb. Go, kitty, go. No scry bug, yay. Now I can see you do a chain roller. No. It's so you're same as a chance. We draw land here, play pride mate. They kept their hand the way it is. They didn't even discard a card. Come on. Well, you're at 21. Thanks. Blackjack. Yay. <laughs> Million little's done. All right, cool. We can play Glorybringer and I have one line to play. Mm. Do you think they would have exerted it? Moving on. If you're sitting and welcome to the stream, my name is Jim Davis. We're trying out this this Tribal Cats deck. Um, we've lost to the essentially mono red Nickel Bolas deck with Chain Whirlers and everything in it. Um, deck. Two matches in a row. I our think opponent played only red cards, and then all of a sudden they had blue. It's it's kind of interesting actually because I think this deck might be f like Hi, actively good against mono red, and Hi, then Eddie. fine against red black. But once they have like Nickel Bolas. And the extra dragons and stuff in their deck, it feels a lot worse because there's more flyers. There's obviously a lot of life gain and lifelink. We're obviously pretty soft to Chain Whirler, and so we have Radiant Destiny, but it's pretty pretty frustrating. As I said earlier on the stream, it's annoying because I feel like there's a lot of tribes in Standard that are like supported, like vampires, zombies, cats, uh, goblins. You know, there's Goblin Warchief, and there's... You know, Mavern frame, whatever, zombie lord guy, and but there just aren't enough to build a deck in like any of them. Like, yeah, there's, there's, Have a, good a, night, million. there's a new elf lord, and there's no elves. Like, 
There's like yeah, isn't it like a two mana elf lord? Yeah, there's like about? ten. Yeah. There's like ten goblin cards legal and standard right now. Merfolk, same thing. And like it's just lame. I just like. What I just that? I just like synergy decks. I don't like stupid good card decks. Oh, here's our keeping. I like stupid good card decks. Yeah, you would. I do. Like uh, when Abzan was good or whatever. Yes. Constructs, kinda. Kinda. Okay. Didn't you try a standard goblins deck? Yeah, like like three days ago. Yeah, that was fun. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Check out Jim's YouTube. You want to see that one? What's up, Dan? Um, Dan, if you want to give them away right now, go nuts. I have 20, 25 actually to give away tomorrow, so I, I have tons to give away. Um, Dan, you're more than welcome to give them away now in any manner you see fit. Okay, well, we've got a reasonable curve here. I agree I'm not too big on a Johnny either. Um, I just don't think the card's very good. I feel like it's like fine if you already have a bunch of creatures right, and like, stuff, and it's like, well, then you're probably going to win. And the two drops you're reanimating are not like, you know, that much better than... Like they're not like Tarmogoyf level two drops. They're like a Dorn Pouncer. Yeah, they're playing like the weird Sifter Worm Rampy deck. If you want a beta key, speak up in chat. Magic Arena beta key. Friend of a stream, Dan Jessup, former teammate of mine, good friend of mine, is giving away giving him away like candy. That's a nice braid. That is a quality looking braid. Is it? That's the kind of upgrade you pay a lot of money for. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Doesn't look that bad here. Sure. Boy leader's pretty big. The cat's pajamas are here. The Does cat's the, pajamas are the, here? The cats are ready to go to bed. Are our cats tired? Are, are, they, they, are they sick of being chain warlord? <laughs> yes, it's like for free free. Alright, well, I don't know what they have here, honestly. Green, blue, colorless, red. I guess I can activate their hostile desert. Which is whatever. Ugh, I just couldn't draw land. Giant's still fine here. Like, this isn't even that good. You know, it's four mana, put counters on things. I just don't think this card's very good. They had the Magma Spray for the Pouncer? Brutal. I mean, you're still attacking. Yeah, it's fine. If I could draw land, just cast Caracal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Johnny sucks. Um, we'll get back to you on it, but... What's up, Cam? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim. That's Nicole. Hi. We're just doing a little late night stream. It's way past both of our bedtimes, yeah. but we're gonna regret this in about eight hours. For sure. And uh friend of a stream, uh, Dan Jessup is giving away a few beta keys in chat if you're interested for the arena beta. I'll be doing arena beta tomorrow. Um I, they've Wizards of the Coast is kind of to give me a god account for one day. So I'll be playing some fun stuff on Arena tomorrow, giving some beta keys away. It's gonna be sweet. Zombies isn't really real though. That, like that kind of sucks, honestly. I'm looking forward to watching tomorrow. Um, like all the tribal decks just feel like they're like bad precons. Your opponent's just like chain whirler, a braid, glory bringer. Yeah, zombies LOL. Are a thing, like a quick, like a hot minute. Like yeah, when action. Crypt Breaker and Digraph Colossus and yeah. Dark Salvation, like actual good cards were available, not just a bunch of two drops and lords. You know. Yes, yeah, so our opponent is playing the Sifter Worm. Probably Palaka Worm deck. Look, zombies. Zombie. Oh, yeah, let's go. It's on like Donkey Kong. I'm going to pump the Karako itself and something else. Probably yeah, out of like a braid? Yeah. They might have. Uh, uh, maybe I should pump the Warrior actually, because they could have. um. Our, yeah, they've, they've, I'm, I'm terrible. They have Hour Devastation in their deck. I should have pumped the, the Warrior. Isn't that five? 
Yeah, but when the crocodile dies, it'll die too. Oh, it'll that, die. That was, that was, that's You're bad. Correct. We might get punished here big time. Okay. I mean... Yeah, we, that, that was bad. I, I've, I've like, I've seen their deck list before. I haven't actually played against it, Why so I just didn't, I mean, it didn't register Jesus fast enough. They didn't take like, never they, pay full they price for late pizza. Instead of three, three. Oh, really? Okay, that's yeah. good then. So. To kill one of your oh, things tapping, rather than take less damage. They're tapping like they're casting an hour. <sighs> so I guess you're just an idiot. So maybe they're just dumb, yeah. I don't know. All right, well, we still have Johnny. Should we draw a creature of his turn? Like like any we have a lot of big draws like like War Leader or Karakul, but even any creature right now to pump double pump. Obviously. I was gonna say like in before Sun Petal Grove, but yeah. I would have been wrong anyway. Yeah. Banebot says all through Dominaria, I played your Wizards deck at F and M and went four zero. When I would go, do I think the two one deal two creature improves the deck over Spellweaver? Absolutely. Do I think the deck could be quasi competitive? Yeah. I think it's like a good F and M deck for sure. I'm gonna do a video on that at some point. I'm gonna write about it uh, tomorrow to my article. Well, <laughs> pumped. Did it work? Oh yeah, it did. Sorry. I don't want to play anymore. Johnny's minus two is to return a small creature. Did you not attack? I have a three four blocker. Oh. Oh no, we don't. That's what I was uh, they, 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 they can sag this. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Never mind. That's why I, I, I was confused for a yeah, second. They'll, they'll just review, 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 review it themselves anymore. and then guess the house of the desert. Yes, got it. So that's the unit. Like, next turn it's a 4-4, four, four, so. Party if we can just draw, party. just draw a damn creature. See, unit. What is this? Oh, it's main phase. Okay, cool. Uh... This is interesting. I mean, given the, I've honestly been pretty impressed with the cats so far. The bad cards have been bad, but the like, good cards have been really good, actually. Like, War Leader's pretty great. Uh, Pride Sovereign's been pretty great. I like this card. The fact that the land's coming untapped is pretty huge. So now they can't put a land in the... I mean, they could have a cycling land, theoretically. I mean, I imagine they're going to cast, like, oh, Sifter Worm or something here, or just die. One or the other. Probably just die. Bad cards are the ones that died a chain whirler. Uh, Monument seems really bad. We, 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 played, we played it on stream yesterday, and it just seems really, really bad. That was the deck that couldn't beat any thing. Green any deck. anything. No, it was like there was a deck that you were like. Yeah, oh, it no. Steel Leaf Overseer was just like, oh, all your creatures have two power or less. LOL. Commit. Great. Can't wait to draw that one again. At least you'll be drawing a creature. That's true. That is true. There are two beta keys left. Dan Jessup, friend of mine, moderator extraordinaire. Bad kitty. Giving him out some... Oh, oh. I, like, I like when memory gets cast. It makes me real happy. Did I, did I, did I sandbag a land? I said I didn't know they had memory, but... Now I feel like we're playing. Let's play some magic. Both got seven guards again. We have two pouncers too, so even if they have the uh, hour, we have answers. Ooh. Wow. Hello. Scavenger ground is kind of annoying, but mm, maze of is also annoying. I mean, you can cast both pouncers and the radiant destiny, right? Pouncer, pouncer, destiny. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast the cat though. So then, are you gonna play? Uh, I mean, well, if you're gonna cast the cat. Are you gonna cast like Pouncer, Pouncer, Sacred Cat? Yeah. And cycle the scatter. Cycle. Card. That's yeah. That's what I was gonna ask. It's like you they can do read have my mind. Scavenger Grounds. So if they have another hour and Scavenger Grounds, it's kind of annoying. But I mean, I probably probably just didn't have anything. So. Also, I'm playing Pauper on stream. Um, I usually do donation bonus leagues where I'll play whatever you want on stream. Those are closed right now, so I'll play whatever you want on stream, but those are closed I right now. I wonder if they're casting this just um, so they can cast Mind. No. Let me 
you get two fresh ones next turn. I mean, they've already fat scavenger rounds. All right, basically, they actually play. I only have one guard left, so I haven't tried zombies yeah. yet now. And they have no creatures in the graveyard, but they have Maze of Ith, so. In before Chain Whirler. <laughs> Jim loves that card. Hmm. Oh, the revise. Okay, try again. I'm almost assuredly just casting Radiant Destiny, but I'll try again. Ten points to Gryffindor. They have no cards in hand, but they have two Spring to Mines. And they can also Hostile Desert and Aura Scuff. Well, they can't, or they can't Hostile Desert because they don't have any lands in their graveyard. Oh, uh, I thought you said, oh, that's right, you had the Sack. So they thing. maze the they, Oh, and they can't cycle and... Um, so they get to tap that many like if they were to do host oh they can't they can actually like play both them. springs and make a land and then and then play hour theoretically but I guess a pouncer it's fine I think we just play pride sovereign yeah, I mean, the zombie play, decks would have gone the one with radiant Death. the zombie decks look really bad um the zombie decks just feel like they're a bunch of one drops and lords and like the lords like lord of the accursed was like one of the worst cards in the old zombie deck in my opinion like you don't want to be a merfolk deck where you're just like yeah. play a lord play a lord play a lord like the good cards in my deck were crypt breaker and digraph colossus and dark salvation like the good powerful card advantage cards you know that was the one where you would draw the cards off of the, the donation bonus will open after everything moves and settles down, it might be a while. Yeah, we'll, we'll see when once things settle down a little more. Yeah, a things lot. have been a little crazy. It's gonna be a crazy few months. So, uh. or you could just be like million and just donate. Anyway. <laughs> We're tapping a red. God damn it. So they found their hour devastation off their two cards from Spring to Mind, which is pretty sick. Because now they also have Scavenger Grounds. They they have, they, they lose the other Spring, I guess, or Mind. What but they, like, what are they doing now? They're scavenger Ground things. So, no, they they have to the Scavenger Ground. We have two embalmed creatures in our graveyard. I mean, Leon's Mastery is very, very good, but the rest of it, like, just I mean, terrible. they would have to Spires. Oh. Uh, they didn't. They're letting us do it. So, well, make sure you do the Adoran Pouncer first. Correct. They might think that you can, that you can respond to it. Apparently not. Uh... What? Nothing. We're not there yet. Almost. But. We're getting there. I mean, they kept their spring. I mean, the pouncer is kind of held in check by the spires. So. Um, if you have beta keys you want to give away, you're more than welcome to just give them away in chat. Um, I have 25 to give away tomorrow on stream. So, i am got plenty. Oh, my God. Ocean them keys and chat. Jump on, go. jump on it like rabbit just, animals. Just get in it. First person to load it up. I bet my walkie. So did you get your life? 
Mm, yeah, I think so. Just a solid 37. Holy crap, dude. That's exactly Thanks for following, right. everyone. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button, of course. Welcome. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Yay. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're almost at 300 subs again. We're going to get a puppy soon. That's right. 1,000 subs, we get a puppy. Yay. I disagree. No yay. All the yay. Yeah, we ain't getting Bane fired out, that's for sure. Will they ever print Shocklands with fetches for standard? Absolutely not. You uh, can gain more life. Yeah, I mean, there's no good attacks here with the stupid Maze of Iths in play, so... What does it sound like? What does it sound like? I don't know. Alright, there's a ghost in the house. I'm back in a minute. How do you sub up? You know the big thing now is to like have horror movies that are like really, you know, techy new age, like, oh, I was on the FaceTime and then I heard a voice in the background, it was a ghost. We're in one of those movies right now. So get your popcorn out. Alright. That's a good draw. Um They have many zombies. War leader will power through. What was it? You find the alien? Yeah, you know, John was just jumping like this. I don't hear anything anymore. I'm so scared. I was saying how um all the <laughs> all the movies, like all the horror movies now are trying to be like really like, you know, well I was on the FaceTime and then I was on FaceTime with him, but he was already dead. Well, you know, uh, this yes, movie's so left, new. He left me a voicemail I listened to this how they died. This movie's so <laughs> new age. You know, like, that's where, where I said we're in one of those movies right now. What was that called? What was that, that one that was called? It was like the girl would get phone calls and she would hear, like, the clip of when her friends or family or whatever would die or something. I haven't like, seen it. Like, she'd hear somebody and they'd be like, you know, I think you're going crazy. You can't be believing all this stuff. And then she'd hear a car crash. And then 10 seconds later, he would look at her and be like, I think you're going crazy. You can't. And he, she'd be like, no. And then he'd obviously like walk in front of the truck or whatever. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, anyone, I don't know. It was called. If something. anyone has any 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 was knowledge of what Nicole is talking about. I, well, I didn't make it up. I'm not that creative. <laughs> uh, we don't really have good attacks yet with Double Maze of Ith and eight zombies in place. So. There is a lot of zombies. Where are all these zombies coming from? Four hour devastations. Tell them to stop it. Ever seen the thing? No. If we move to South Carolina mm -hmm. and someone says that one of the houses there is haunted. Okay. And you can stay in the house and I'll give you a hundred bucks for staying in the house. And whatever, would you do it? Like a hundred bucks. For and like, and like, multiple people were like, "Don't stay in that house." Would you stay in the house? No. Why not? I mean, there's a lot of reasons why not. Like, it was, it would be a house that is known to be haunted, right? Or whatever haunted. And would you? Because I would never sleep. Why not? Like, I wouldn't be able to relax. Like, and if it's a known haunted house, it's probably abandoned. Or is it, like, would it be a comfortable bed and stuff? Like, would I be able to, like, sleep in a regular yeah, room? Yeah, it's just, it's just okay. like, it's like a... Like, 
if you like tried to sleep like, in it's, like it's, it's not like a moldy shit okay, well like, that's what I mean cause like the thing is like you know you have people come in and vandalize and like actually go into no, haunted houses and stuff no if it was like a, there, there a will haunted be, hotel there will be no or something there will be no earthly influence oh, then on I your, would have no problem saying there yeah, yeah like, I'd be more I'd be more worried about people being stupid as long as people weren't stupid I would stay there I mean, people me. are just stupid in general, so you're kind of screwed in that yeah, regard. Yeah, a hundred dollars isn't a lot to uh, ignore. Like a lot of hey, I wouldn't stay there, but like. What's the point? The point is, it's it's. It, I I wanted to see if you'll stay there, like for not a lot of money. Like, it's sort of like, you know, like like I would say. I probably let's would. do it. You know, like show me some 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 ghosts. Let's Listen, let's go. We have bathroom tiles to pay for and stuff. All right. <laughs> I got I got to buy me some cabinets and some. Some nice cutlery. To bring to the house and defend yourself against the ghosts. Yes. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. So they have um our devastation in their hand. Or on top of their deck, so all of our creatures are gonna ghosts die anyway. Are not real. So. Why is everybody saying ghosts are not real? There's obviously a shifty lawyer after your hundred dollars. No. Yes. I hate it when people are stupid too. There's a place near us, um, uh, well, it's not like that near us, but there's like an old, it, it, it was like a psychiatric hospital back, way back in Kings Park. The one Pilgrim on, State. On Exit 53? Yeah. And it's like, it's like every high school on Long Island knows about it. And it's like the cops always, because there's probably dozens of people that trespass on those. The, it's like really creepy. That wasn't the tuberculosis. No, the... Suffolk County Community College used to be a tuberculosis hospital or whatever. That's supposed to be haunted. Did you know that? What, what campus? Selden? Selden, yeah. Uh, that that, ex like that would explain some things that I've seen. Yeah? Really? Seriously? No, I was making stuff up. You're no fun. But, yeah. So, like, but people would trespass on the psychiatric hospital thing all the time. And mm -hmm. I had a friend who was apparently not, didn't have any place to live, who lived on, like, the third floor of, like, one of the buildings for, like, a month. Good friend of. Yeah. I mean, well, it was one of Liz's friends. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> You're under arrest. My girlfriend's cousin went to the Winchester mansion, was not killed by ghosts. That's good. Her phone's really slow. Like 10 minutes behind on clock on us. The like, Flying Dutchman. Let's go. Isn't this like game one? Yeah. I'm just making sure. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. South you Carolina mean, is mean. great and cheap and wonderful and awesome and the best. Yeah. Well, yeah, the psych hospital was in Kings Park. It's like Pilgrim State or something like that. And then our, the community college that I went to was haunted. Actually, the bar that Liz used to work at, she was at. She was on, like, Ghost Hunters or whatever. Nothing's actually haunted. On... on, on what is see, it like? It see, was on like the History Channel or something. Oh, then it's got to be true. It's got to be they true. They have stuff about aliens. It's got to be aliens. Ancient aliens. Aliens. Not ghosts. Aliens. That scared the shit out of me. Are we getting bane <laughs> fire for like a hundred million here? I really hope so. Like we're at 40. <laughs> they just attacked for a seven and we're at 40. Dream from the haunted house. That would be so much fun. I'm so scared. They just being fired. Being fired for, for 25. twenty-five. And you're still alive. Uh, uh, don't concede. I mean, they obviously have another being fire or something. Well, and then just let them do we're, it. We're drawing a thing. For, I know, but their clock is at eight and a half it's minutes. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. It Maybe. is not. Almost right. one o'clock in the morning. It is closer to twelve than it is to one. It is almost almost one o'clock in the morning is anything past twelve forty five. You have to be past twelve forty five to be almost. I almost say twelve fifty, honestly. I feel like you have to be sub ten minutes. To be uh, almost. I don't think I want to naturalize. I want prowling serpapod. I don't think so. I want some, the moral I just want some planeswalkers. Because Planeswalkers aren't actually good against our devastation. But Got it. Yes, apparently I'm tired. Hmm. 
Fall the Thrain. That's a cool card. I like that card. Fall the Thrain's a new... It's like a saga card. Okay. Six mana. Okay. Comes to play destroy all lands. Okay. And then level two and three are each player returns two lands. That's pretty cool. It's cool. Thoughts on Hearthstone? New I Ajani. Know, I never it is that running before. New Ajani. I had to play another place that have one oh, drop. Okay. Wizard. There isn't. Actually, there aren't any. Reeve Daddy, uh, apparently New Ajani subpar at best. Yeah, it doesn't really seem very good. Sweet. Yeah, South Carolina is going to be pretty great. Oh, let's look at the forest. I didn't even know you were playing those. We suck at this. We? We. We? We. We? Oh, we, we. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's pretty cool. Fall the Thrain with the, there's a new like spirit flyer. It's okay. a, a two one flyer over two. Okay. You can sign it to exile target player's graveyard. So you fall the Thrain and then exile their graveyard and they'll get any lands back. That's pretty cool. Do I like electronic music? Some. Gutter Snipe kind of sucks. God damn it. Damn Magma Sprays. It's funny. Cat. Sorry, Burnsy. I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. Hotly. 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 Not really excited for our prospects this game. Uh, we you have mulliganed. Our hand is very vulnerable to anger, though, whatever. You're, maybe your opponent will just never win. Maybe. Definitely These one drops are all just so bad. That's the problem I've, I've found with every tribal deck except for zombies is that the one drops just seem awful. But the problem with the zombie deck is all the top end cards just seem awful except for Lilana's Mastery. Yeah, that's still legal, right? Yes. Is my mouse all flickery? Ghosts. They heard you talking bad. Ooh. As long as I don't have either hour next turn. There's probably a lot to ask. Um, I think we're okay. Don't have hours of any kind. And an untapped red line. Cycle? Well, they just cycled a red land. It was a tap one, but... Um... They obviously have it. Unbelievable. The almost bad bodyguard's terrible because uh, it's a one this creature in a world of chain whirlers. In a world of chain whirlers. In a world where your world will get world. <laughs> I mean, there you go. There's three, four, five, six. That's nine power. Kitty. Nine power of kitty. Play the mountains to go. So, I mean. Kill him. Yeah, pretty much any one toughness creature is uh Is there any reason to not play pouncer here? Like post combat? Mm -hmm. They're bouncing the Karak wall, it's pretty sweet. It's only like three, which kinda sucks, but we are playing the pouncer, yes. I don't really have any fear of a pouncer dying to a wrath. That's why I was curious. A the only card I could think of is like a magma spray, but I a feel lot like of bad stuff that can happen this turn. Even nothing is bad. Double maze of it. Oh, that's not bad. Kind of cool with that one. Another commit. I think there's a lot of commits. What does this deck do when your when your opponent plays like a real one drop into a real two drop into a real three drop? Like Goblin Chain Whirler. Yeah. Well, you're at thirty two. Teach me how to dig. Teach me. Teach me how to dig. 
Minions on Hungry Flames? I think it's fine. I think it's like a playable standard card, despite not really seeing it. Oh, that was Flame of Kills or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Why do they keep doing this? They didn't want you to draw your thing? It makes me so happy when they do this. Because you're going to play like six cards next turn. It's going to be cool. All right. Um... They don't have a scavenger ground, so our pouncers aren't bad. We don't want to lose a lot of stuff to a anger or whatever, the wrath of God. Sure, our. But we obviously have to play into it because of spires. Pawn's deck's kind of cool. It's very similar to my, my like Bant approach decks. Gideon doesn't survive our... I think... Pride Sovereign is very cute with Spires. Kinda. Like, attack with it, untap it, you exert it. Sure. Sweltering Suns, also. Uh, Anointed Procession would be a different deck. Oh, come on. After that first match, I was like feeling pretty good. I mean, we beat be that dinosaur deck like pretty, pretty handily. My computer, my computer's being very finicky. My mouse feels very odd. All right, there's everything I have in life. Go ahead, destroy it. Yep. Tap the two red. They're tapping their spot, I guess. I guess they're they not have, worried they about have another play, I guess. I guess they just draw their haste guys. So. Yeah, I guess. That's what that that's what I was thinking. I mean, our follow up is to ours obviously good. We have we have Leona Warleader and Gideon. Yes. Well that's pretty, why I figured that you didn't pretty, cast Warleader there. They only have five better. minutes left. It's game two. And Yeah. Like this is a pretty Reasonable follow up. We have the pouncer there too, but and my mouse feels very skittish. They have another hour. It sucks. They only have two cards left, so. Um, appeal to authority is fine. Uh, there's just so much removal in standard. I just don't think it's a necessary element. I think in the I don't think we'll have trouble breaking ground stalls with all of our anthems and, and the pride sovereigns. And I think it's just really bad against removal. So I think it's just like good near good matchups and bad near bad matchups. It's pretty funny our opponent's actually just gonna clock. Maybe we should have made him kill us in game one. I just I mean I just wanted to, I just, I'm on I'm on here till four in the morning, you know, like well, your opponent is going to take up their full 20 minutes anyway, so yeah. it doesn't actually make any difference. All right, they drew two cards. They cycled the land. I guess there's no point in attacking with Gideon. Should probably just make an emblem. Yeah, that's great. three things. Five. Th so maybe you should attack with Gideon? Like, I mean, they made it, man. So, like, why, why bother? Because something will get through because you make two things. That's Two, three, four. I mean, I would like to try and get it up out of okay, uh, our, whatever yes, our sure. range. Sure, that's fine. Hmm, vigilance. You know, plus it on the hostile you're going against? I don't think any of those cards are really sideboard cards. Um, there is a lightning there in here, right? Like Hungry Flames and Vinvigor and Rampage are not really sideboard cards. Harsh Mentor doesn't really do anything. Lightning Mares doesn't really do anything. Run Amok. What's that? Lightning, lightning Mares right here. I was reading what it does. It's like a ponytail. It is. 
doesn't have haste. I feel like Ponyta would have haste. What's your favorite Pokemon of all time? Rapidash. Not Ponyta? Too basic for you? You're pretty basic. <sighs> I mean, the mayor is like, doesn't really bane fire for five? Mm -hmm. Are you still, are you still all excusing me on the basic comment? <laughs> all right, going up. Going up, F6, tag with everything. <sighs> Two minutes and 50 seconds left. We have literal 15 minutes left. We have 14 minutes and 57 seconds. All right. Literal 15 minutes left. Yeah. Apology. You never apologize. Unless you really did something wrong. Like. See, you could only not handle being called basic if you were actually war basic. So therefore, it does not warrant an, warrant an apology. You're pretty basic, though. <laughs> You're basic like this planes. That's a high quality planes, all right? The old school Tempest land. This is like this is not like a joke about planes. What are they doing? Oh, they're blocking. I forgot I F6 like an hour and a half ago. Oh, that's right. We were attacking. Got it. F6, 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 F6. Never apologize doesn't sound like great relationship advice. Seriously. Eh. I, obviously, I mean, the... the Oh, spring to mind. The caveat is, unless you have something to apologize for. People apologize too much on average. You know? Your opponent decided with hmm. a minute and 43 seconds left. Yeah. That's, they, uh, they were going to... Uh, it's going to be a fun one. Uh, good night, Harleen. Did both of you already play Magic when you met, or did one of you get other into the game? I mean, I've I, I obviously played forever. You can't answer the question. Forever. Forever. Opponent says GG's and concedes. Going into game three. I Ice deck. Um, I played Magic for like six weeks in like high school, and what'd you play? It's funny because we, Jim and I, both started at the same time. Apparently, it was seventh edition, with our Thorn Elementals. Want to grab it? Yes. What's up, Ephra? No, no puppy yet. We've uh, we've lost subs. I was away for a while. Hi, Ephra. I know you've probably heard it a million times, but congrats on the good finish. Yes, good run, buddy. I was I was watching you and cheering you on. I actually, um, an old acquaintance of mine and my girlfriend, uh, uh, Clayton Fletcher, he... Who's got one of these? He was, like, the last one to get knocked out on, like, day six or something, and, like, I forget. But he did good. But, yes, congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you. It was great to see you do so well. Maybe now you can get a silver uh, silver showcase invite, right? Eh, right? Eh? That's all you need to do. That's all you gotta do. But yes, I played for a little bit in high school. And you, should, then you should show them I your your and deck hockey trophy picture and try and get a, a silver showcase invite. Be like, look, I won this deck hockey tournament. I would tell them to show, you, show them yours too, but you don't have one, so. I can show them my fantasy football trophy. That thing's pretty impressive. It's true. We it's, gotta... it's in the front of all of Jim's other trophies. It's true. Nicole won her fantasy it's football league. Pretty fantastic. Congrats, Nicole. That's me. There's no pupper. We haven't hit a thousand subs. No, so for, those, for those who don't know, when uh, when when we hit a thousand subs, we're getting a new dog for our new house. Um, we're currently at two eighty four. I was at about we were at about four hundred. Thorn Elemental was before seven. Before we. Uh, before we moved, Edition. before I moved, before I went down south for a, a month to work on the house, yeah. and didn't stream for a month. Obviously you did lost, it on purpose. Yeah, obviously lost a lot of subs. We were we were at four hundred max. Once I actually start streaming consistently, we'll hit the thousand for sure. Yes. So, and we're going to. What kind of puppy is all her? I don't even want a puppy. I don't like puppies. We're going to rescue a dog. Um, there's actually. Um, Somebody needs to rescue me from the dog. They're build. They're building. Um, what is it like an ASPCA or something like? Like right near our development, like a half mile away, and there's already a another like sanctuary like rescue place that Jim got me a, an application to volunteer at um, the last time he was down. 
Um, and they're only like two miles away from our house. But there's, especially in like South Carolina, there's actually a lot of rescues and sanctuaries and shelters and things. So we, uh, we're not, we're not sure yet what Hunter, kind of dog. We don't know you, I, about them. I, we didn't make chat wait, okay? You're, you haven't even subbed yet. You haven't even done your part. All right. <gasps> when we get a thousand subs, we get the puppy. It's very simple. It's just subs. causality. So go tell a, them. when A happens, B happens. So sub and then go all t- tell all your friends to sub. Yes. Jim said the, the, what what you said at 10 grand, we could just get a puppy though, right? That was, that yeah. was what you I mean, said. Yeah, we got to move and stuff first, obviously. But yes, if someone donates 10 grand, we'll get a puppy. Uh, I'm working on it, but yes. No kitty. Yeah, we can't have a kitty. Kitties, we try to eat the... Eat no the kitty. Oh, he's having that, a nightmare. That ra- well, there's a rainbow cat on his head trying to eat him. So, what's up, Randy? Okay, thanks for follow. That's it. Honestly, and I just don't want to take the, that. I don't remember. It's it's the sub is. Oh, it's ancient. Thank you. Snap. It's cumulative. It's it's not it's not like we've gotten X amount of subs. Now we get a puppy. We need to have a thousand subs at one time. So right now we have. But right, and we're going by points. So if you do more, if you do like a bigger sub, or like the higher tier subs, it counts for more. We're two eighty five. Yes. I'm not a monster. We're getting uh, getting to rest here. Why did the Islanders choose not to sign Tavares? Tavares chose not to sign with us. It's it's part of a. Uh, I mean. He's liar, liar, pants on fire. The Islanders had about five years to put together a reasonable goaltender and defensive combination. And, and decided not to for some reason. The, no, the thing is they kept trying, but they were just didn't try. They just didn't know what they were doing. Right. Like, I probably could have run the organization right. better. They were yeah. trying. Yeah. So. By getting everybody else C-list goalies and wings that didn't work with Tavares. And, like, they finally found when, like, with Brock Nelson kind of stepped up a little bit. He was doing pretty well. They should have been, like, a, but, like a Bachelor-style show for Tavares. Like, left winger. You know, or whatever. You accept this puck. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Like, what? (laughs) Ass down. Rude. Good thing we have this Leon and War Leader. Going up the curve here. Must kill threats. Only two cards left, so. Anyway, intention. Hmm? You want to give him the the little sub spiel? Oh, right. Intention. Intention. Is our new sub. Intention. You're all excited about the puppy. What's your name? Where are you from? How long you play Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. Welcome, my friend. Everyone welcome our new sub with some hype in chat. I see zero hype and zero welcomes, and that's not okay. We'll All start right. banning people at random. I will go through the list and just ban someone. How did you get here? We Don't make me at random. Yeah. At random. Yeah. Johnny Pride, mate. We're just casting Pride Sovereign. I only have one card Pride left. Which is, back yeah, cash. we're just going to jam. I guess so. F6 value here. They want to fatal push my sacred cat. They're more than welcome to. Nope, they're scrying their treasure map. There we go. Yes. Um, the Islanders are still uh, playing. Unplug Toaster. That was uh, Mike Milbury, and he. There is a a circle in hell that has been <laughs> reserved for him. Didn't the Islanders? Uh, aren't they still paying Rick DiPietro? Yeah. <laughs> Who's like been doing radio work for less he's, he's actually for, really good I actually for like, the islanders i actually he's, like him a lot he radio, has the ball but. and chain under the desk because he if we're gonna have to pay him I we're gonna put him we in front of the mic just want to like jam here i wonder if he like when he like signed a crunch because he he does the the pre-game and post-game shows for the islanders and stuff too and i i really wonder like genuinely wonder if like when they came to the table to negotiate his contract to be like, listen, we want you to do the coverage. You know, six ball here or make tokens? They don't play Wraths in their deck. I kind of, I mean, I guess they would have They don't kill- play like Bantu's Last Reckoning or anything? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe they've, all they've played so far is removal. I think they would, they would have killed it before on top if they had removal. Only played, the, deck. the thing is, they've also only played singular removal and they haven't played any sweepers. But well, I don't think they play any sweepers like main deck, so like. I, I think they would have killed this on their turn and not Still let me untap like with it. I think it's, well, I unless they, like, changed it, because it was a 15-year deal, and I want to say they signed it in, like, what, 2000? Why are they scrying in their draw step? It's a peculiar Six, time to scry. 2007. When did they sign? 
DiPietro. I don't know. I'm a Rangers fan. That was a fun game. I feel like we've gotten run over by Bantu's Last Reckoning once or twice. Um, Somehow. Let me look. God. These, Sacred, these Sacred Cats have been pretty bad. Um, Leon and Vanguard's also been pretty bad. I mean, maybe the Vanguard's just worse. We're just not going to have a lot of guys in play. I guess Thopter Arrest is also not going to be Binding, just better than Thopter Arrest. Yeah, let's try that. Bonder's last reckoning? I don't know. It seems a little play, I guess. It's a little bit. It's a card. I feel like it's got... Don't, don't we have a clip of you getting run over by the... I, I don't want to talk about it. Keep it. That's what you get for spiting me. I mean... You mean what? Like, on the draw, I think we're keeping this. We're bottoming, we're bottoming that. Really? You gotta do better. What? We need an impactful card, not a 1-1. One, one. You're just gonna draw a whole bunch of... That was just the start of your curve. Alright, if you're I draw... Gonna, if you're draw, you're gonna draw a 2 If draw. out of my four, next four draw steps, okay. three are lands, I will concede. There's one. I told you you were gonna draw 1-2. two. I told you you were gonna draw on curve. You don't listen to me. Yeah, but like they said, they're actually just mono removal. Any cards that actually matter, you know? So you play a 1-drop, they remove it. You play a 2-drop, they remove it. <laughs> Sounds good. Ballista. Ballista. Three drop. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I knew it. I stacked your deck. Mm. I see. I see. Have I brewed any standard with Nexus of Fate? Nope. Nope. Have you brewed nope, any nope. standard with Lich's Mastery or whatever? No, that card's cool. I'm just going to play the Radiant Destiny here. Might give them a chance to ballista us. Kitty. Cat. Ballista. And next turn, we are going to draw a Gideon of the Trials. That's the card I want to draw. It's almost I feel like we're going to draw that oh, God, Hunt this Master card's or so whatever. Good. Why is Gandhi so good? They're going to steal our bad cats and cast them against us. They're obviously going to hit the other Ajani on yielding. I figured it was just going to be the... What's that four mana cat? Oh, that that, four, that four? one's really good. Yeah. That one. Oh, well they didn't well, hit your other yeah, Ajani. I guess they didn't hit the other Ajani. That is that is the silver lining here. And cast Ajani. Despite it looking like a cat. It is not, a cat. I mean, it's not a cat. There's no cats. Well, your opponent knows what's going on now. Yeah. Gig is up. Take a deuce. Draw. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna hold on to that. Okay. I'm not really interested in hitting the Gonti. Oh my god. That's fine, I guess. It's actually pretty good for us. Alright, I mean... I mean, they've got to play something worse than Gonti, right? Yeah, I mean, by like, worse, I mean like, better. Yeah, you got to have, like, Liliana. I mean, worse for us. Karn's a good one. So, the problem is if we draw a land that can cast a Johnny, I think we're just casting a Johnny. And they have one card left. Okay, didn't draw a land that can cast a Johnny. Makes our choice pretty easy. And in the darkness, bite them. So we were discussing if John, our our son, who is seven, he's almost eight. He'll what be eight what age long. is it appropriate for him to watch the Lord of the Rings? I said like ten. Like the not and the Coles, the cartoon one, like the real. No, one. the real one. Yeah, like the Peter Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings. The most recent. Yes. Right, and I said like. Probably in like two or three years. And Nicole's like, nah, I can watch it now. It's fine. We watched Hook tonight. Biscuit and, said right And he now. just could, you just couldn't handle it. He, he just had no idea what was going it. on. He was squirming around. Not. Yeah, that's that's because he had eaten an entire pound of brownie sundae. I made him a brownie sundae. Read The Hobbit. We're, we're, we're reading Harry Potter right now. My adorned pounds. It's actually, it's actually great. Because when it dies, it goes to my graveyard. So it's actually really good for us. 
Any castable spell. That's a castable spell. That is what you asked for. It's... I guess we bring back this... I mean, we bring, bring back the thingy he goes to... They just kill it with the... And then the new, the new thing's gonna die. Uh... Yes, Hook the Live Action Peter Pan with Robin Williams. Great movie. See, two, said 11. I saw it it's kind of like eight. dense, I though. I thought it was long, but good. Like, Hook was pretty dense. Like, a lot of stuff happens yes, that, that's not just, like, sword Robin fighting Williams. and stuff. Like, a lot of dialogue, a lot of characters, two and a half hours long. Like, like I, it's a good movie, but, like, as far as, like, kids' movies. All right. A Johnny Plus makes a 3-3. Three, three. They could just kill it. I guess they kind of want them to kill it. Well, we're only at, we're, we're, we, we finished Harry Potter book two this year, so. Yes, we just finished two. Two's, two's one of the creepier ones. Maybe not the most, like, like, outwardly, like, I don't even want to say violent, but, like, like, it's definitely a creepy one. Her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Plus, you're an attack. Crack back and kill I know it. a little bit of anime. I don't really know a lot. Two, four. Five. It's funny because like. Get back, pride me. They like John hasn't really watched that yeah, much anime. Right. Um, and my niece and my nephew just like Jeez. never really watched it. And I had a my, one of my favorite movies when I was a kid was My Neighbor Totoro, and uh, I brought it with me on a road trip to Disney, and we put it on, and obviously it's like this movie from like the early 90s and the kids were like what is this what is this and they, they kept asking like every two minutes like for the first like 10 minutes of the movie they were like but what's happening i was like guys just watch the movie and after about 10 minutes they were just like and they just sat there and they, they were they were like silent the rest of the ride down to disney and it was a beautiful thing they loved it never My all right so we used our yeah. plant walker properly we should we should draw forest we draw forest some Petal Grove. Look, Ixon's binding. Isn't that what you asked for? I almost want to just kill this ballista, honestly. They're just going to kill your sacred cat. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can't really kill it, I guess, but... I don't really make good attacks. I guess we're just chilling. I don't want to hit anything in play right now. I guess they're just going to make ballista bigger and bigger and stuff. Yeah, which kind of sucks, but... We just don't have any good attacks at the moment. Yeah. We should draw forest and like our, everything's insane. Everything is insane. Everything is insane. Pretty sure it's not how it goes, but. Oh, Melvin, Melvin. Melvin. Melvin, I am so happy you're here. Melvin. Grab that play. What's up, Melvin? Everyone inside a Melvin the Muppet. Literal Muppet streamer. Hi, Melvin. I mean, if Pride Sovereign lives through the turn, uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. We only have one card in hand, so. Alaska is Contempt. That's fine, honestly, because now the way is almost assuredly clear, clear for Johnny. We just need that. Hey. You be nice to Melvin. Dome splider. Whoa. Take it easy. Who's got a hammer? Melvin has his own hammer. That's true. Melvin. Attacking the moderator is a uh <laughs> is, uh, you know, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Whatever. Don't attack the person with the big sword. We're gonna bind in the Gonti. It's pretty lame. Just but, because yeah. Melvin's a Muppet, you can't you can't be mean to him. He's not that kind of Muppet. He's the cool kind. There's a there's a not cool people, kind of Muppet. Yeah, you call people Muppets. You're, you're a Muppet. That's like, isn't that an insult in, in like UK English? You call people Muppets. We just Muppet? get in here, right? They might trade, but we just get a thingy and gain some life. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I, I made I made that. I guess they just blocked the ballista now. No. You killed Melvin. We're like almost dead. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Never mind. So they can use a never return on this, which is fine. We should just draw a goddamn green source. Ooh, that's really bad for us. 
Lowercase m Muppet is an insult? Yes. Lowercase M Muppet is an insult. I said, that's not the kind of Muppet Melvin is. See, you look like me. Another like I have, contempt? Like I have two heads. Are you dead? I don't. No, you're not dead. You're almost dead. Uh, yeah, we're... Oh, no, we are dead. It's a double strike. Yeah, we're just actually oh. dead. You're dead. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that game felt pretty lame. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. What game was that? You have a game left? Yeah, yes. we're, up, we're up a game. All right, cool. Yeah, I mean, if we ever drew a green source, top Obviously, product. it's an X card. Oh, no. Ooh, Blance. Jeez. Jeez. All right. Um... Is there a world we want naturalize? I don't think so. Like, we're pretty threat dense. Like, I think we're all right. Yeah, the one drops in this deck are so bad. Honestly, these cards are actually pretty cool. Like, War Leader, Caracal, Destiny, Pride Sovereign. It's been pretty... Is it Caracal or is it Caracal? I don't know. I just say both back and I've, forth I was going to say, because I've definitely heard you use both yeah, in this stream, and yeah. I, I just was curious if I was, you know, hearing you right. Hey, look, there's the forest. We found it. Keep, keep, snap keep. We have the forest. You won't be digging for it this time. What are you doing? You ruined it. Keep, keep, keep. This Johnny has been pretty bad. I think his card kind of sucks. Would you be happier if it was the other Johnny? Yeah. Really? Eh, maybe. Keep, 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 keep. All right, they, they mulligan two. We are on the play. Bottom. <sighs> it's one of your best cards, but I feel like if that's the first thing you cast, you're gonna die. I'm like, they're not gonna kill us fast. Just like we just want. Are they? We just want any kind of card advantage we can get. Because the, the deck's just I mean, all we're on game. I'm gonna bottom this. That's what I would They have enough on. ways to kill it. Yeah, I agree. It's late. I'm There's fine. a reason we don't do late night streams. Oh, is there? We're old. I have only felt old because of you being around me. I I've been like around you for five years. You're old, being contagious. Yes. And I've aged 10 years. See? Proof. Hmm. <laughs> the white, red, auras deck on YouTube? Yes, I am. Oh, great. Great. Just what I always wanted. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I love this. Scared so Cat's like, okay. Scared Cat? Scared Cat. Oh. Let's go. That's not bad. Not I can bad. I can buy that. Can you make it a cat? I mean, no, I can't. But it's a human soldier. I could name human. 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 Well, don't do that. Push the cat. Wow. What a really really rude person. So now we draw a land, we go Destiny Cat, I suppose, because our Johnny Adversary of Tyrants is just a terrible magic card. This card just sucks. I feel like it'd be funny if Argo's Bloodfast was, like, an enchantment that said, like, one in a black, draw a card, uh, it deals two damage to you. What? I'm just saying, like, if that was instead of pay two life, it was, like, you get dealt two damage by the enchantment for uh, drawing makes, the card. That makes sense as far as, like, you know, those cards work. I mean, I guess we can't really... We can attack, and they can just attack back and kill it by tapping all their lands. I... Is that worth a turn? That's a lot of kitties. Name human, just do it. If this is going to take up their entire turn and deal them four, I think I'm okay with it. Like, the life... With the, they obviously have a blood fast in place, so life really matters. Now, if they want to kill Johnny and keep their Ballista, they need to use their entire turn. And if they want to just trade Ballista for Gideon, I think I'm actually okay with that. Because it's like the Gideon's going to be like, we could, we could plus it on the Ballista, and they, then the game just drags on, and it just isn't. We don't want the game to drag on when they have Bloodfast in play, so. 
Given the other options, I think this is probably reasonable. What are you thinking? You thinking about bringing back Sacred Cat instead of Johnny? Johnny just sucks. Doesn't do anything. I play a Johnny, then what? Yeah, I know. You plus and don't do anything. This card, this card sucks. I've played it in a few decks now, and it's, it's just been pretty bad almost every time. Only seems good if all of your one drops and two drops are great, and you're playing Ballista, and you're always ahead for some reason. Whenever you're behind, it is just atrociously bad. Just like such bad tempo because if we draw anything that costs three or less next turn, we can go with that plus Sacred Cat. A Johnny won't even live though. They just I guess they they have to plus it, attack it. And shoot it. I'm gonna play a Johnny, I guess. History and a Johnny does seem good, that's fair. Uh no, I'm not gonna put a counter on their walking ballista. The old planeswalker anthem deck. Nine cats still going. Burns eat, still sleep. Why did you even bother bringing Burns in here? He's literally been streaming. Wake his ass up. The entire stream. No. He's the cats are trying to wake him up for the last like hour and a half. <gasps> go nine cat go. I mean, if they make this trade, I'm gonna feel so good. They did not. Okay. Oh, it's never gonna work out for us. Yes, it will. I'm just gonna contempt it or something like I mean but the thing is like you get least I don't know I guess we're casting it yeah I just... mean like but that you know what else are you gonna do I'd have just thrown her you, know. I mean, you could just play Sacred Cat and bump it up make it a 4-4 four -four. you know like okay but the thing is like if you draw Lynn we could just like play the war leader and then use the giant to get back Sacred Cat that's true and like that would give it two live, two more lives. Scared cat. Scared cat. It's kind of. It's like. It's not doing anything anyway. They could have sure. killed, killed it. And, didn't and you do have it. another one to play next turn. Right. Like, whatever. This is you weird, but uh, I mean. I like it. They have many, many cards. They are ten. So. Cabal stronghold. They're using it. Yeah. That's probably not good, right? Yeah. What cost six? Whatever they want. Oh, they changed their mind. Oh, they were going to pump and shoot and stuff, I guess? I don't really know. Mm. Are you going to play the other Johnny? I guess, like, I guess so. They're probably going to kill our guy before we go to combat, and we're just going to be boned, but... I suppose this is our best chance to win. Just don't have anything, which seems unlikely. Okay. Seven, eight. Surprise. And then they can pump it once. They have... That's sweet. They can tempt it our... Oh, they tempted Johnny. I don't, know, I don't even want a Johnny. It's terrible. It's just awful. All right. Right, come on, untap land. Yeah, we're drawing untap land here, and I'm actually feeling. Ugh. I think they can pump Ballista somewhere between two and four times this turn. Unclaimed territory. Okay. The final answer was three times. three times. They can pump it three times. Oh, blood nope, fasting. Nope, blood fast. Okay. Yeah, do whatever you want. I mean, they are going to they're at eight. Like theoretically Caracal God come on. I obviously have an answer to this. I guess we're gonna binding the do ballista. You binding the ballista or we the have to. Fast? We, don't, okay, we don't yeah. have a choice. Like Ooh. Okay. Problem is like, I feel like we just 
can't beat the Plista at the moment. They just pump. It just, it just plus three every turn. So then just die. Uh, like. like, it sucks. Like, but... Third mm -hmm. six. Drew again with our bottles, blood fast or whatever. Like we draw two lands in a row here, which we've been very good at for a lot of these games. Yes. <sighs> okay. Okay. You're just gonna draw another one. I don't want to draw. I draw land oh. and another one. That's actually not bad. Yay. Go, kitties, go. Meow. That 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 would be Meow 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 I want meow mix meow mix meow mix. I am alive, I am dead, but I both want my meow mix meow mix. And then they get to Oh they flip it and that's the whole sack and they gain Yes. Very good with the scarab god, but that card is not in their deck, so Eight mana. Gehenny's expertise, cast a free gift today they're born. Alright, that's honestly not that bad. Another blood fast. Which is almost irrelevant. Alright, I mean Oddly enough, I feel like we have a pretty reasonable shot of winning this game. You can do it. Despite drawing two Johnny Adversary of Tyrants, perhaps one of the worst cards I've ever seen. If I don't want to kill both of them. Yeah, that... that oh, that, you killed one of that them. That Contempt was something else. Now... I'm kind of feeling a block. Why? Because they just gain life and draw cards and gain life and draw cards. They definitely have an answer to this. Oh, sure. Sure. They cast two contempts so far. What's up, Sphere? How's it going, my friend? Welcome from the uh, the YouTube world. All right, so we had Johnny. Okay. They've already used two contempts, but First they have three Twitter, cards in hand. Time YouTuber, I like it. Get some hits here, please. Okay. Opponent's drawing another card with Bloodfast. Going to two. They're not using the ability, but they can't do anything with it anymore. We survived. Oh my god. Oh god, here it comes. I mean, the thing is, even if this is a huge ballista or whatever, you can just play Gideon and plus on it. I mean, they just kill Gideon in response. And still have a really huge ballista. Until next turn, you prevent all damage. That's on, so they kill Gideon in return, they still have a, a huge ballista, but you still get to prevent it for at least, like, a turn. Right? It doesn't help us win the game. You can find something else to win the game. You'll figure it out. That was what I was hoping that you would have to win the game. <sighs> yeah, I mean... I think we might even be dead to the ballista itself. I mean, that was 24. Yeah, this pump. Which is six pumps. Six. No, 24, right? yeah. And something. Yeah. I mean, I just don't think we can win. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I just can't really fathom why they did that, but all right. Definitely just kill a uh, kill getting a response. Okay. 
<laughs> what a weird game. We drew like two creatures. I said it's been a very all weird planeswalkers, game. but they were all really bad. Usually, like you'd want to draw planeswalkers against them, but like these Ajani is just really bad. That's the important thing too. Obviously, we're gonna go two three here in this league, which kind of sucks. Uh, we lost two chain roller decks, but the important thing is obviously. As I always say in my videos and my streams and my, my content is that the focus here is learning, not winning. And even when you play a deck that doesn't work out well, you still learn from it. And yeah. one of the things that I've learned in playing this card in the last few decks is it's just not very good. Which is good to know. It's the new Mythic Planeswalker, you know? Um, the bigger cards in this deck have been good. The, the one drops have been pretty bad. Say your cat's actually been okay. So with one crusade out, it's like two two twos, which isn't that bad. Uh, other one drops been awful. Ixalan's binding, they sacrifice the blister in response. So uh, so um, it never got under the binding. Alright, well, that kinda sucked. Alright, so not so really far. the deck honestly felt a little better than two three. I was actually kind of like the goblin deck felt really really bad when I played it. His deck didn't feel that bad. Um, I feel like he had some rough draws. Yeah, we had a few spots where things got a little rough. A Johnny was not very good. I think if it was two more removal spells, it might have been better. Um, Warlord seemed great. That's the live, obviously, but like. You know, War Leader, Radiant Destiny, Pride Sovereign, and Regal, Regal Crockle all seem good. Mm -hmm. Problem is here, you know, I just every tribal deck seems to have holes in this format. And they're pretty... Yeah, I don't think a Dorn Pouncer was that bad. They're pretty serious holes. The Pouncer? I mean, Pouncer just has a Chain Whirler. That's the problem, you know, sure. like... It's like, the, the lower part of our curve is so vulnerable to Chain Whirler. Sacred Cat gets to die to Chain Whirler twice, right? Mm. <laughs> yes. Or Ballista. A Ballista mm -hmm. and Chain Whirler are just like... Well, I think so. It's tough. Are. Um, so, I don't know. Thanks, you got it cool, but <sighs> not sure. But now? It's bedtime. Is it? Yeah, it's bedtime. What do you think this is? It's past one o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I have to get out tomorrow, write an article, and stream, and bring John to hockey, and, and deal with you all day. Yes. Um, As I, I lay on the couch and eat bonbons. Yeah, basically. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this late night stream. I don't do this very often because I'm tired my, and cranky. My That's basic okay. self. Yeah, you're, you're, you're very basic. Tomorrow, we're going to have a, an arena stream. Uh, we're going to give me a beta keys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can I come? Uh, I think this deck is mostly playable on arena, which would be cool. You can do that. Um, no, you're not invited. And uh, Melvin, thanks for the resub. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate it very, very much. Much love, Melvin. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow mm -hmm. on there. And, uh, yeah.